Hello, hello, and welcome back to the 3 at Moon livestream, everybody. It is Sunday, June 20th, 2021, and my name is Matt, otherwise known as 3 at Moon here on Twitch and YouTube. Welcome to the stream. Sundays are one of my favorite days when it comes to streaming, so I'm really, I'm really stoked to keep going through this ongoing retro queue. Um, if you don't know me, I am a session drummer. I love uh, animation, I love retro games, I'm a, I'm a big fan of video game music as well. Um, speaking of music, I'm listening to the music from uh, Super Mario RPG at the moment. But yeah, I stream every single day from 1pm Pacific onward. Uh, I always do retro games, I play randomizers of retro games, RPGs, ROM hacks, homebrew projects, all sorts. And Sundays are our viewer request retro Sundays on the stream. There's an ongoing 
ever-growing queue of retro games suggested by you in the chat. And if you have 4,200 Moonstones, you can actually add a game to the chat. Any game for Game Boy, Game Boy Color, Game Boy Advance, NES, SNES, or Sega Genesis, and I'll play it on the stream. Um, I have all my previous Sunday viewer request streams available on my YouTube channel. If you're watching live, thank you so much for tuning in. If you're watching after the fact on YouTube, consider subscribing. Um, and if you want to go back and take a look at all the other games we've played through the viewer request Sundays, you can do that. You can also easily go catch me doing some Super Mario Bros. 3 randomizer or some Super Mario 64 shuffled around where all the, uh, the star locations, the coin locations, that sort of thing are, are uh, mixed up. Um, Sundays are my favorite because I get to be introduced to games that I've never seen before and I'm really stoked <clears throat> at the uh, variety and quantity of games people have been requesting. Uh, you don't have to wait till Sunday to redeem your moonstones to add a game to the queue. Uh, and I also want to thank the most recent people who have been following the channel. Um, really, really appreciate the support. Today we're going to be continuing with the next game in the queue, which is Indiana Jones' Greatest Adventures on the Super Nintendo. I believe it is a platformer that follows the story of all three movies, which is really cool. This was redeemed by one of our mods, Stegosaurus McCartney. And then after that, next in the list is Blobbert, an NES homebrew uh, game released in 2020 made by one of our followers and requested by uh, a cardboard box. Same creator as Hyperbeats, uh, a really fun 2021 NES rhythm game. Think Step Mania or Tap Tap Revolution on the NES with incredible original music. I'm excited to see what that game's all about. It's a, a difficult uh, platformer on the NES. Uh, and if you're interested in homebrew projects like that, definitely check out my NES homebrew streams. We've only just hit the surface of some of the stuff that exists out there. And you can see more of those on the channel. And after we check out Blobber, we're going to check out Tetris Battle Gaiden for the Super Famicom. It is Japanese only and was requested by my partner Michelle Butterfield. And we're going to play it together on stream. So. That'll be fun. We uh, do occasional Mario Golf co-op streams. We haven't done one in a while, but we're really stoked for the... Both of us are excited for the upcoming of the um, new uh, Mario Golf game on Switch. Um, I personally want to play every round as King bob -omb, but I feel like it'll, it'll be a difficult character to control. But the fact that you can play as King bob -omb, and they've also announced that Charging Chuck from Super Mario World is one of the one of the golfers, which is pretty funny. But generally, if you're watching live right now on twitch.tv slash 3up underscore moon, thank you so much for tuning in. Thanks again to Lucas Bell for making such an incredible uh, layout and branding like package, basically, for my, uh, my channel. Uh, loving how it looks. I'm able to kind of implement my own artwork. And uh, yeah, it's great. I, I really appreciate it. Thanks to the most recent followers. Thanks to Skullman Streaming for the raid yesterday, Cyphers, and Zombie Paper. And thank you to Bruno Buono and Ghostosaurus and Deva Plays and Flaming Tomato 4 for the follows. Um, I am super humbled by the support the channel's been getting recently. Uh, Sundays are, are definitely my, like I said, becoming some of my favorite streams. So thanks again to everyone that comes out on the regular. Uh, you know who you are. And uh, keep in mind, we actually have three followers to go, and then we're at 400 followers, and once we hit that, we're going to be celebrating by playing Wario Land 4. Last month we hit 300, and I celebrated by playing the first three Wario Land games. So that could happen this stream, who knows? If you're not following, click that follow button. It helps the channel to grow, and we got to hit these goals. Alright, so stick around, let's listen to some more music from Super Mario RPG, a game that you'll eventually be seeing me play here on, on stream very soon. And uh, we will continue with our very first game of the night, Indiana Jones' Greatest Adventures on the Super Nintendo.
Thanks so much, Michelle, for the hydrate. And yeah, the music in Super Mario RPG is pretty fantastic. Welcome to the stream, everyone. You should be able to see the game in just a moment. You should be able to see me uh, and hear me. And you let me know if I need to adjust the game audio at any time. But welcome to the stream. Happy Sunday. Happy Father's Day, if any of you are fathers out there. And thanks for tuning in. Here we go. This one is for Stegosaurus McCartney, uh, one of our mods. Thank you so much for the redeem. <clears throat> and any one of you can add a game to the list. If you want to add a ROM hack for any of the systems that we mentioned earlier, Game Boy, Game Boy Advance, Game Boy Color, NES, SNES, or Sega Genesis. If you want to challenge me to play a game, like let's say a randomizer of a game. Uh, one example was a recent challenge was uh, Super Mario Bros. 3 randomizer, where I have to beat every single level as Frog Mario, and also shuffle around the sound effects to throw me off. So I'm open to challenges like that. I'm open to uh, to uh, ROM hacks, that sort of thing. And uh, you don't have to wait till Sunday to redeem those points. You can do it any time. And here we go. JBC. Musical Industries. <clears throat> I was told this game is sort of like, think of Super Star Wars. This is like the answer to Super Star Wars. It's all three movies though in one, one package, basically one game. See, it's Indiana Jones and the Temple of Doom, and the Last Crusade, and the Raiders of the Lost Ark. It's cool. Did you just auto start me? No. Come on. Let me go to the options at least. Let's go. <clears throat> I'm just going to turn the volume up on the game. But you let me know if I if you need more or less at any time. Pack sound, <clears throat> even though there's nothing we're punching. Okay, we've got grenades. It's good to know. Oh shoot! Ah, okay. Simon Dalmont. What? We are after Count Dracula. Dracula. Ooh, look, sea hearts. There's gotta be wall chickens. Oh, shoot. Yum. This is already a good choice, Daryl. Got a sunburn, and I just scratched my arm with a sunburn. Not a good thing. Should warn sunscreen. Do do. It's a painful red sunburn. It really hurts. Not. 
Imagine doing this in real life, waiting for a fish to jump and then whipping it out of the sky. Some pretty hard to shit. Let's go. I feel a little wary about how like the natives in this area are enemies, and we are a white person running around. And we have to attack them. It's a little bit strange. So I'm gonna keep running. No! Oh, I see. We were supposed to use the whip at that point. Let's I gotcha. Go. I gotcha. Now we've got the whip. Okay. You can run through most of it, actually. Which is cool. definitely not as smooth to control as something like Super Castlevania 4 in terms of whip phys physics. to do. Let's go. How do you duck under there? This face is pretty great here in the background. What are you supposed to do there? Let's go. I don't get it. Aha, uh -huh. okay, there we go. You just gotta learn the move. I gotcha. I gotcha. But we have no health now. Weep. I've lost it. I've lost it. I've lost it. Let's go. The 
fact that you have to do it from the top again is kind of kind of annoying. One up. That's what it says. Cyphers, what's up? Welcome to the stream. Whoa. It's the first game that we're playing tonight, Indiana Jones Greatest Adventures. Uh, I was told it was like Super Star Wars, and I've seen some people play all three Super Star Wars games recently, and I was not looking forward to it necessarily. There's definitely some high difficulty, for sure. But otherwise, having a great day. Hope you are too. I just don't Let's see go. that. Oh, nice. The enemies are all dead, though, thankfully. Oh, I'm an idiot. Feels like this game wants to feel like uh, Castlevania for sure. Doing great, just wish the sun would go down. Temperature is 94 degrees right now, 34 Celsius, too hot. Thank you so much, whoever followed. I can't see. I really appreciate the follow. We are two followers away from 400 followers. Once we hit that, we'll play Wario Land 4 to celebrate. I'm really stoked for that. It's really hot here, too. Um, it's uh, not as hot as, as you're describing, though. close to you. So we know what to do. It's just like getting there without losing all this health. This is tricky. This is definitely fe feeling like what it was like watching the, those streamers play uh, Super Star Wars recently. Actually, Indiana Jones. Yep. This is the closest that it's going to get to a real life Indiana Jones simulator. Ah, that's tough. Okay. Punch the face. There we go. There we go. Yes. Oh, 
Whoa, something's happening. Five month sub anniversary from Michelle Butterfield. Thank you for the subs. I appreciate it. Thanks for showing up to all the streams as well. And thank you for redeeming games as well for the uh, retro request date. It's been some super fun ones. I'm stoked to play um, Tetris Battle Gaiden with you on stream soon. After these next two. Ooh, do we make it? <clears throat> Thank you for the smoothie as well. Is the game audio sounding okay? Let's go. Fine, just walk Let's it off. Go. More like rock it off. Ooh, I just have like a crazy sensation to sneeze right now while I'm try trying to do this. It's like hard mode. No. How are you supposed to? Like, at least Battletoads gives you indications. I've lost it. I've lost it. At least battle tones give you gives you indications that uh, you have to go like up or down. We just have to memorize this. Let's go. Okay, just one sec. Thankfully, there's no time limit. I'll be right back. It does kind of suck that you have to. Hey, hey, hey. Can't play the passive this round, can we? We have to start from the from the actual beginning of the level, which is kind of kind of funny. Tough enough just Let's to go. get to the boss. Are 
we got all the power-ups already, so it's not actually going to give us access to hearts anymore. We get fully healed again. Or do we do we at least start from full health? Is it just me or do the cutscenes remind you of the mini games from WarioWare on Game Boy Advance? There's no indication of what's coming up next. Or do you just have to follow the rhythm? Maybe you just follow the rhythm once you... Follow the rhythm. Follow the rhythm. Yes. any scene in any movie that I want to see on the Super Nintendo, it's this specific scene at the beginning of Raiders of the Lost Ark. <laughs> it's in the lost city of T-Anus. Alright, let's go. there's somebody watching who's never seen an Indiana Jones movie and this is their first exposure to the story. Or I hope there's somebody out there that's played this game and never uh, watched the movies. I believe, is there a fan game 
that is uh, the Super Mario Brothers live action movie as a video game. I believe that's a thing. I could be wrong. This is funny. Where there's still toad houses and he still gives you items, but it's the toad from the live action movie. And Dennis Hopper is the final boss. That'd be amazing. And instead of you riding Yoshi, you reluctantly tug Yoshi along on a chain, and he actually is more just just dead weight, so he makes it more difficult to, to get around. That would be pretty funny. I can see it now. Super Mario Brothers, the movie, the game. Super Show Sega. Super Show. Let's go. Ice levels. I hate ice ice levels. Especially when they have ice physics, but it looks like there aren't ice physics. You assume it'd be a CDI game. <laughs> it's like, use your fists. Oh, 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 okay. Easy there, Sonic. trying to be Donkey Kong Country. Actually, the Donkey Kong Country snow mountain levels and stuff uh, are really cool. I really like the aesthetic, and all the... Um, there is music, like, it's mostly ambient, but um, there, there is garlic musical, like, segments for the, the track for that level. Yes, wall meat. See, it is Castlevania. All text driven, and, and the ending scene. They're saying the CDI game would be all text driven, and then the ending scene is broken, so you can't complete the game. I still love that they try to leave that open for a sequel. What was Bob Hoskins gonna take a nap, and then the, who are they gonna get to play Wart? John Goodman is Wart. So, so thankfully that's that's it. That is it. This is pretty awful. Uh, so this is pretty awful. Just saying. Whoa! That's not awful. That's the opposite of awful. Thank you so much. I'm getting raided. Getting raided on one of the least hype moments of this game. Indy just got a gun, everyone, just uh, to let people know. Uh, Danny Poplio, welcome to the stream. Thank you so much for the raid. Uh, Raxine TV, welcome. It's a damn new raid. Nice. Hope you had an awesome stream. If you don't know me, my name is 3up, otherwise known as Matt. And I play, <laughs> I meant to say Matt, and uh, otherwise known as 3up. Um, but I play retro games every single day from 1 p.m. Pacific onward. I do randomizers of retro games, I play ROM hacks, uh, homebrew projects, all sorts of fun stuff, RPGs, and on Sundays at 6.30 p.m. Pacific, I always do uh, an ongoing like, viewer request night, and this is a game, this is the Indiana Jones Greatest Adventures, it's actually the story of all three indie movies uh, on the Super Nintendo, this is redeemed by Stegosaurus McCartney, one of our mods. And then after this we've got a whole bunch of games in the queue, if you have 4200 Moonstones, you can redeem them as a channel reward and add any game for Game Boy, Game Boy Color, Game Boy Advance, NES, SNES, or Sega Genesis, and I'll play it. It can also be a ROM hack of those games, all sorts of stuff. Um, 
and uh, I'm, I'm open to pretty much any game. If it's an RPG, we do have a bunch in the in the queue, and I like it. I'll probably just start it on a Sunday and then play it throughout the the week. And also, we're only two followers away from 400. And once we do, we're going to be celebrating by playing Wario Land 4. Last month, we just hit 300. So if you're not following... Oh, we can switch. Nice. If you're not following, click that follow button. It lets you know uh, what I'm streaming next and when I'm streaming next. And it helps the channel to grow, so I really appreciate it. Arth Mall, welcome to the stream. And thanks again, Danny Poplio. I hope uh, everyone's doing well. I'm just going to do, before we continue, because the game does, is not a time limit thing, um, I'm just going to do a bunch of shoutouts here. If you're not following Danny Poplio, go give them a follow. And Raxine TV, as well as the Central Scrutinizer TV. Her husband. Really cool retro streamers. And uh, you can also catch a whole bunch of like really cool co-op stuff, uh, modern modern stuff as well, not just retro. Recently seen playing Halo, doing a Halo co-op. Yeah, so th there's no music to this at all. It worked. Okay, we have no more grenades. Damn. I knew it. It's just a one hit. This is a really, really, really tough game. And it's, uh, if you've heard of Super Star Wars at all, there's three Super Star Wars games on the Famicom. Um, and I think one of them was released here, but a few of them are Japanese only. This is just like that. He's got a gun. No. Can you even make that? Let's go. Oh, nice. Thankfully, there's checkpoints, even though they're not visible. Yes, he can. Nice. <sighs> Holy shit! This is crazy. It's funny, with no music, it adds so much more attention. Hope those shoutouts worked. Oh yeah, they did. Cool. Um, doo -doo. Let me see. I'll just catch up on the chat. Um, one of the Super Star Wars games on Super Famicom is, is notoriously impossible. Yeah, I think, I think two of them are notoriously known for being very, very difficult. I watched some people uh, stream it recently. And so... When I look this up, people describe this as like Super Star Wars, like the three Super Star Wars games kind of in one. Danny Poplio is saying, I remember those Star Wars games. They were fun, but so hard for, for me. Uh, this is fun. Like, like, don't get me wrong. It's, it's difficult, but fun. We recently played Kabuki Quantum Fighter on the NES and Batman on the NES through our viewer request streams. And uh, they're both like really, really fun games, but they control very, very well. Like... It's not really the fault of the game. There's no jank uh, when I die, if that makes sense. It, just, it feels like it was 100% my fault, and I could do better. I could learn how to play the game just a, just a touch better. This game feels like there's like... It feels like that 75% of the time. 25% of the time, it feels like, come on. And, and there's a little bit of a little bit of jank to the enemy hitboxes. And the level design, it, it uh, really requires memorization. We just got really lucky in a few moments there. Arthur Mall. Every game is basically hard to you because you suck, even though you're currently trying to beat Mega Man X. That's a pretty tough game, though, still. Um, I actually don't, I kind of stay away from the Mega Man games, mainly because just they're super difficult. I played Mega Man X 1 and 2, and Mega Man 1 and 2 and 4 on the Nintendo, but I definitely haven't come close to beating them. Famicom consoles are the hardest games, yeah. Yeah, the Japanese. I'm just diving into that... Um, into that catalog, and like I said, if anyone wants to uh, wants to redeem a game, you don't have to wait till Sunday to do so. You can do it at any time. Okay, is that what you're supposed to do? Uh, 
That's right, it's trying to be Super Castlevania 4, I forgot. He's got a whip. He's fighting Draculas. Gotta be very, very quiet. We're hunting Draculas. No. No! I've lost him. I've lost him. This game does have a few great little vocal moments. Yes. Did I get it in time? Danny Poplio is saying, I'm playing X2 on stream right now. It's super hard. Uh, Arthamal, I'm doing Earthworm Jim next, hopefully, when you get it. Nice. Earthworm Jim, I remember that being really tough, but I remember um, I have so many vivid memories of just the first level because they just change the style of level on you. It's kind of like Contra that way. There's a lot of variety to the types of levels in Earthworm Jim. Gradius 3. Nice. It just looks like uh, in Indy has uh, a pimple on his cheek. He really needs it addressed. Anyone else see it? Let's go. See a few more people are joining the stream. Welcome, and thank you so much again, uh, Danny, for the for the raid. I really appreciate it. I just have like such crazy allergies right now. I just have this uh, intense urge to sneeze. I'll be right back. I'm back, and I just realized there's no music in this level as well. <clears throat> it's so funny. Comic Zone is pretty cool, and that's definitely a real, a real fun, uh, fun game. I rented it on, I think it was available for the Sega Genesis. I rented it back in the day. Dig Destroyer, welcome to the stream. Hope you're doing well. Happy Sunday. 
<laughs> there's like just so much so much emptiness in the in the sound design of the game right now. Let's go. This is the musical track, by the way, for this level. We're in Nepal. I'm just waiting to see DK and Diddy. Because it looks just like the snow level from uh, Donkey Kong Country 1. And there's, you know, the track, the musical track I was mentioning earlier in the Donkey Kong Country winter level is basically... basically just wind like this. <clears throat> comic, comic Zone is so snoopy. Ooh. Oh, come on, Void. What, you think you're just because you're a Void you can beak me like that? literally as far as we've gotten in this level. Let's go. This sounds awfully like Dark Castle with no music. What's Dark Castle? Oh, I, maybe I shouldn't ask. Because people can redeem anything, you know? Oh, no. Let's go. Apparently there is music playing right now. Shodan to play True Lies yesterday. That uh, is True Lies, like tie a tie-in with uh, a Schwarzenegger movie. Nice. Very hotline Miami meets zombie. <laughs> My ate my neighbors. Nice. You know what's so funny? Um, is that I've been playing the last couple days actually I think I only just did the one stream but I did a, I did a licensed game stream two days ago game on Game Boy Color where I spun a roulette wheel and whatever game it gave me of a ton of different licensed games so games on Game Boy Color that were tied into TV movie or video, uh, or uh, like comic book cartoon properties we played blade on Game Boy Color um, so it's funny you mentioned licensed games. The Blade on Game Boy Color is actually kind of like uh, trying to be like a shoot 'em up and a beat 'em up. Is there a way to like. I'm just wondering if there's, a, if there's a way to, like, stack these somehow. Huh. Yeah, we played Blade, we played uh, a hilarious Flintstones skin of Burger Time. Burger Time in Bedrock.
Ooh. Yeah, this game wants to be Castle Super Castlevania 4 so bad. Even the music is like knockoff Castlevania styles. And it's trying to be Donkey Kong, like jumping over the barrels. Come on. For anyone just joining, I hope you're having an awesome Sunday, and thanks for hanging out. We are also two followers away from 400 followers, so if you're not following already, hit that follow button. Once we hit 400, we're going to celebrate by playing some Wario Land 4. Yesterday we were celebrating a little bit uh, of the uh, belated birthday for the Game Boy Advance. It recently hit 20 years old last week. And I've been feeling pretty nostalgic about uh, that system recently, so it was, it was fun. Uh, I realized that uh, yesterday, after playing the Game Boy Advance version of Donkey Kong Country 2 for like literally more than a minute, I realized that uh, you need to play the Super Nintendo version. It's the only way. But there are really uh, cool little Easter eggs in those Donkey Kong Country Advance ports because there's extra music in each one of them. <laughs> Dude, this is not a video. Not a video, your concern. Oh. What are we supposed to do? That's a house fire. Look, these people are just chilling. They're like, let's watch this guy. I don't care what happens. What are you supposed to do here? jump. Oh. Damn. Oh, come on. Is this just not doable? Let's go.
Does anyone else get earthworm gym vibes with the fact that there's bear traps here and we have to like whip the birds out of the sky? This came out in 1994 and I think earthworm gym came out before that so we'll see. We'll see who done it first. Gotcha. I see. I see. The worst game over screen, not gonna lie. Lost it. Yo, buddy. Just consta shooting. Let's go. Here's the thing though, Earthworm Gym is a good game. Absolutely. Imagine being that kid who only had this to play on the Super Nintendo. That was the only game. And they've never seen the Indiana Jones movies. That would be even funnier. That person definitely exists out there. Let's go. Yeah, we're gonna try this a couple more times. And then we're gonna move on to the next game. But I want to thank uh, Stegosaurus McCartney for redeeming your points to get me to play this. More like a thanks for participating. Thank you. <laughs> it's 4200 Moonstones if you want to add any game on Game Boy, Game Boy Color, Game Boy Advance, NES, SNES, or Sega Genesis. And I'll give it a shot. A shot just like that guy shot. Indy right in the face. <laughs> this game is interesting. It's true. Let's go. We just have to be like ultra freaking quick. supposed to do here? You're just stuck. You know what I mean? Like, there's constant flow to the level until you get to that point. that part, I thought you had to push the, the block down longer. You can, actually. It stops you. 
Yeah, you definitely can't can't push the block down, but. Castlevania 5, exactly. Have you played Castlevania 5 before? Sean Connery as Van Helsing. Welcome to the stream. If you don't know Moose Bones, now you know. Go check out that channel. Alright, we'll try this a couple more times for Daryl. Um, this is today's first game in the queue. The, the next game in the queue we have is Blobbert, which is an NES homebrew platformer. It's supposed to be like a difficult platformer, I guess uh, similar to like Super Meat Boy. Um, it's got a super unique mechanic, and it's actually programmed completely by one of our followers, Cardboard Box, who made Hyper Beats, another homebrew game Let's go. Um, that started off a series of NES homebrew games that we've been playing on stream. So I'm stoked for that. So we're going to be going from the Super Nintendo to the NES. Then after that, we've got some Super Famicom action with Tetris Battle Gaiden. And me and my partner, Michelle, are going to be doing some Tetris. Um, and whoa. Then after that, we've got... Let's go. Um, home Improvement. Power Tool Pursuit, if you can believe it, on the Super Nintendo. Thank you again, Daryl, for that one. <laughs> The game over person when you die looks a lot like freaking Stravinsky. That's funny. That's uh, Sean Connery. Sean Canary. It is a LucasArts game, uh, and also JVC made it as well. But I think this is basically like this is imagine if Super Star Wars 1, 2, and 3 were in one trilogy game. Um, it's basically the first three games, or the first three uh, movies. Indiana Jones Greatest Adventure, so it's like, just like a trilogy, um, but made by the same people. And basically feels like Super Star Wars. I played the first Super Star Wars before, so it feels very similar. That's terrible. It is super janky. It wants to be Castlevania so bad, like you're saying, Castlevania 5. So here, it makes sense that you'd have to do this. Push it down further, but you can't. Oh, wait. Yes, you can. I'm an idiot. Let's do it. Stravinsky's a classical composer you like a lot. Nice. Probably cooler dude than Sean Connery. Oh, I know what you gotta do. Know what you gotta do. Punch the box. Oh, we're dead. Oh. I've lost it. Henny Blank, thank you so much for that host. We've lost it. I know what to do now. We just gotta be fast enough. Welcome to the stream, Henny Blank. Hope you're having an awesome Sunday as well. First game of the night. It's funny we're playing more licensed games because uh, we did a Game Boy Color licensed game stream recently. No. seen this game before, or are you being sarcastic? Come on. 
Can't stand to get a little toasted. I've lost it. Step right up if you're ready to get a toasted. I'll buy you a pony if you play Beavis and Butthead today. Since you think you did throw it in the queue, if not, cool. Um, let me see where it is in the queue. Whoa. And for those that uh, are just joining, when I do my viewer request nights every single Sunday, um, basically, I usually play them in the order that they're redeemed, and then also, uh, I usually do about two or three games a stream. And I'll message you and let you know when uh, when, I, when I'm going to play the game. So you might redeem it today, but there's about 12 games in the queue. Who died in 1971? Are you talking about um, Indiana Jones? Sean Connery died in 1971? Oh, uh, you mean you never saw the recording of Stravinsky, but it's because he was born in the 19th century and he died in 1971. Cool. Why is the entire room a lake of goddamn fire? I mean, this is normal, Eddie. This is normal. This is typical Nepal lifestyle. So we, we are in Nepal right now. Also, I mean, it is winter, so... <clears throat> gotta stay warm somehow. Before the fireplace, the entire room was the fireplace. The place for fire. Doesn't this take place in the 30s? That was a thing in the 30s, right? We had it. And for those uh, watching right now, I just want to say one more time, we are two followers away from 400, so if you want to make that 400 hype happen right now, right here, be a part of it and you're not following already, click that follow button. I want to get away with that without having to use the freaking whip, but I don't think that's going to happen. Damn it. Yeah, we definitely have to use the whip. No! First name on your host list? Nice, thank you. Appreciate that. Oh! Stegosaurus McCartney, what did you do? We're literally in an Antarctica, but the fire is so big. Whoa. Whoa. Come on. Thank you. It's not a hard, not a hard thing to do. Science creature. Oh, nice. I know exactly who this guy is. Whoa. This is 100% the biggest building in Nepal. It's pretty big. <laughs> Hear the crunch of his bit crushed voice. No, oh, we died again. Same hole. First boss. It's kind of cool.
Paul Jones now. Yep. Well, he's not going home. He's sticking around. Look at this high definition. Well, Jones, at least you haven't forgotten how to show a lady a good time. That's your voice, right? I kind of love the wonkiness of this Super Nintendo. John Williams. Nonsense. This scene always is like, it's like burnt in my memory, where they're meeting at the bar, and then it gets ambushed. For some reason, that scene is the most iconic to me in Indiana Jones. <laughs> the freaking cord. Get out of here with your fanciness. Kyra, let's go. Okay, third level okay. in. First instinct. Yay, we're in Cairo. Look at this pot. Let's punch it. Punch it. What? What the hell do you want for me? Oh, oh my god. What? I'm just supposed to know that? Okay. Now it's Assassin's Creed, everyone. Welcome. Assassin's Creed on the Super Nintendo. <laughs> now it's okay. Oh my god. They just completely ripped off Aladdin. This is ridiculous. The Aladdin game that is basically ported to every single... Every single system known to man. Ah. This is exactly the enemy type. Yeah, this is funny. Uh, that wasn't in Aladdin. Or was it? I can't remember. I haven't played it in a while. Also, Henny Blank, thank you for redeeming Aladdin on the Super Nintendo. It is on the list. It's literally exactly like Aladdin. This is come, come on. This is ridiculous. No. No. I lost it. I lost it. Let's go. Let's go. Somehow we earn three continues through the, this all this shenanigans. Maybe it was the fact that we're the three up moon. What happened? What happened now? Let's go from the top. From the top. Let's go.
that was awful. So like I said, this game, like 75% of the time is super janky. No, I said it was 25% before, but now I'm realizing it's 75%. It's just, it is janky. Um, it is a difficult game, but it is, but it's a good, a good challenge though. I, I don't, uh, I highly would recommend playing something like Kabuki Quantum Fighter or Batman on NES if you want like a real tough challenge that's gonna not totally frustrate you. There's lots of moments here that are super frustrating, as you can see. Hitboxes. Enemy placement. And just overall jank. It's just an overall jank. Where do you start me now, though? Let's go. Where do you stop me now? Yes. That's the Assassin's Creed bullshit that we needed to pull off. Let's go. Sabu, it is it is Aladdin. We are an Agrabah. I just feel like this this totally steals from Aladdin. I mean, I know it was a successful movie and a successful video game. I'm pretty sure everyone had a copy of Aladdin in some form. to bring it close enough. Okay, wow. for what's going on. I feel like it's the opening credits to like a Disney Channel television show. Or a D Disney Channel uh, TV movie. No, no, no.
Yeah, I'm trying to cheese it, absolutely. One up. One up. One up. Punch all the pots in this game. Hey. That's not cool. We have to respawn it. Yeah. Yo, you son of a bitch. I feel like this is like Beethoven's first uh, day at school, this music. And I mean Beethoven the dog, not Beethoven the composer. First day at puppy school. Such a whimsical soundtrack. Yeah, that's perfect music for uh, the Indiana Jones Cairo level. the health. Could have used it, but it's fine, it's fine. It's fine. It's totally fine. Didn't know you could do that. That's what I'm looking for. Seems way too low to be using our whip to grab onto.
can't think of. <clears throat> Is there a place that this would better be utilized? Yes. Oh, interesting. This game sucks. This one. Let's go. I just wanted to see how far we can go because, you know, it does have the three movies in it, but I don't know anyone with the patience to actually play through all this. joining. Hope you're having an awesome Sunday. We are doing our viewer request Metro Sundays, and we just, uh, every single Sunday at 6.30 p.m. Pacific, I continue down a list of ongoing, ever-growing list of retro games. A queue that is built by you in the chat. Yes. And we play all sorts of different games. Uh, I don't know how it happened there, but I'll take it. And uh, I do a lot of retro games and randomizers and stuff like that. But Sundays are all about you deciding what we play. Um, we've got a couple games up in the queue. We've got uh, Blobbert on NES, a homebrew game released in 2020. Very difficult platformer um, made by a cardboard box, one of the followers in the channel who also made Hyperbeats and did all the music for Hyperbeats. A 2021 NES rhythm game. There's all sorts of cool stuff being made for the NES still. It's a great community of, of folks developing in the homebrew community. And, and you can see some of those streams on my YouTube channel as well. Oh, why do we got to be stuck in a place like this? Definitely some shake going on. Just wondering if there's another hidden thing up there that we can't. Yeah, what the hell's happening there? I don't know what's going on, but. don't understand it. Okay, we'll switch games. Let's switch over. Let me just uh, update the stream title. Uh, again, thanks, Daryl, for the request. I don't think I'll ever dive into that game again. But if you are, for some reason, a mega fan of uh, Indiana Jones, or you played the Super Star Wars games and didn't, want to kill yourself by the end of it, then this game might be for you. It's 
So yeah, thanks, Daryl. I'm, I'm just going to be swapping stuff out here. Uh, the next game, redeemed by a cardboard box, programmed by a cardboard box, developed by a cardboard box, released by a cardboard box. Thank you, uh, Anthony, for one, redeeming your own game in the mix. I never thought that I would dive down the, uh, the homebrew sort of route, and we've had some really fun homebrew games um, on the stream thanks to you and Hyperbeats, because that kind of opened the door to that world. Um, there's lots of really cool stuff still being developed for systems that are, I guess, I don't want to say defunct, but systems that they're not officially releasing games for anymore. There's all sorts of really cool projects. We've seen some ZX Spectrum conversions, some conversions on the NES of um, some arcade games, games that never made it to the NES, as well as some Texas Instrument calculator games, some unique rhythm games like Hyperbeats, um, and a few other ones, D-Pad Hero, that have like original music and, and just like NES chiptune um, soundtracks. Really great uses of the sound of the sound chip on the NES, and uh, I'm yeah I'm just stoked to play more of those. Uh, homebrew, so you can go to my YouTube channel and subscribe, and every single one of my streams is there in full, including my homebrew streams. Now we're just going to swap back over to Super Mario RPG music, and we'll pull up to the next game here, just one moment. The music is not that different, which is pretty hilarious. It's just a better example of it. Just be one second here. stream title and also what you see should be the game. You should see Blobbert on the screen. Yeah, like I said, there's all sorts of really cool simple games, um, really cool custom, like just like original arcade games or even variants. We got, we um, were introduced to one called From Below from 2020, which is a Tetris variant um, homebrew game. Uh, d definitely worth looking into that and we'll be doing a lot more streams. If you're interested in that kind of stuff, we'll be doing a lot more streams like that. Um, showcasing Game Boy, Game Boy Color, homebrew projects, things like that. So let's dive in. Thanks again, Cardboard Box, Anthony Blackman, for one, following the channel, two, showing up on the regular, and three, introducing me to some of your uh, personal projects that are pretty cool. Let's dive in. Okay. So moving left. So this is me pressing right. Interesting. Oh, what the hell? What the hell? Okay. So we're moving the actual platform. Just to show people what I'm doing, I'm basically pressing up and then letting go. Left, up and left, and then letting go. Up and right, and then letting go. Like, very quickly. Just lightly rolling it, you know? That's really interesting. That control scheme is very, very interesting. Okay, so basically, it's ima imagine that the whole screen is a box, and we're shaking it. And we're shaking it and trying to get the this... Uh, this slime, Blobbert, up up different levels. That's insane. So A and B does nothing, and it's just all about the D-pad. Completely. That's it. That's very, very interesting. There's no pause button. It's just, it's just go for it. Oh my god.
interesting. It's really tough to get the hang of. Huh, huh, huh. This is very different than Indiana Jones. <laughs> this is exactly why I love the uh, the viewer request nights because just keeping it completely open and letting people suggest you know their own projects, ROM hacks, maybe even challenging me to like a pacifist challenge in a game. It's super super fun. I always always end up seeing some really cool stuff. Yeah, start and select does nothing. A and B does nothing. It's all just the. Oh, okay. So it's not just up. We gotta press up and down. We gotta shake. There we go. Okay, I gotcha. To get height, we gotta we gotta press up and down like repeatedly. No. What a weird way to like mess with your brain in terms of like how an NES game can control. It's kind of interesting. I don't know how this looks in terms of gameplay. That hurt my brain. That transition was very jarring. I think the camera is a little bit jarring too. Um, that's my only comment, I would say. But I do realize that this was an NES homebrew game made for a game development, like a competition. So there was like time limits and only there's there's a lot of constraints. So you can't uh, you can't just. Can't just add anything, there was a time limit, time constraint to the competition. Oh, oh. So if there was more stationary camera that wasn't as jarring, and then also the transition from screen to screen was nicer, um, you could even make it kind of blobby and like add to the effect. Not that you're still working on this, I know that this, again, this is just like... Oh. Ooh. This is intriguing. I can actually see like the, this concept being done back in the day by a company, by Rare or something like that. Because Rare made some really interesting NES puzzle games, including Snake, Rattle, and Roll. There's a little bit of that vibe here. Ooh, I like the idea though. Definitely like the idea. Yes. No. This is not easy. Yeah, like you can't press left to just move left. It's all about the physics. How I'm getting everything to happen is I'm just going like, I'm pressing up and down, a combination of up and down. I am pressing left and right to decide my direction in, in the air, but not. Wow, that's tough. It's too, a little too jarring for that transition, but... to control the controller differently. No! Oh, wow. 
Wow, no. This kind of reminds me of, uh, not Super Meat Boy, it reminds me of, what's it called? Uh, the one where you keep climbing, the Perpetual Climber. have like a hammer or a stick. Oh, God damn it. It's frustrating. There's a little bit of jank to this, but like I said, I understand like the limitation. And also, this is uh, done by one person. I could not put this together on the NES. Oh. It's difficult. I don't know how much we can do this one for. Ah, that's tough. Blobbert, if you want to check it out, I think you can look it up on nesdev.com. There's a really great community of NES homebrews. Uh, we played some really fun ones. We played one called Dryer that was really cool from 2012. Uh, that was kind of like inspired by Adventures of Lolo 2 and Bomberman and stuff like that on the NES, like those early arcade games. If you want to see me play more arcade games, I have an ongoing series called Whim of the Wheel, where I spin a roulette wheel and whatever game I get out of about 20 NES puzzle and arcade games. I have to try and attempt, at least three attempts, to beat my personal best or get a high score on the, the, the board in the game, if there's a high scoreboard. It's a nice little homage to the time uh, pre-Super Mario Bros. 1, <laughs> in some cases. Um, I think I think maybe that it could be attributed to to uh, that game can can be attributed to a shift in uh, I guess priorities in the gaming industry in terms of like what mattered more it matters more to like beat a game quicker this uh, nowadays and also that whole achievement culture to get as many achievements as possible um, back in the day it was all about high scores and so I just wanted to pay homage to that arcade era and uh, yeah if you want to see me play more arcade stream, arcade style games on the NES, um, you can go check that out on my YouTube channel as well. Um, I want to say thanks to, just because after playing Indiana Jones, uh, I can only play that for, for just uh, a short period of time, but thanks to a cardboard box for one, uh, like I said, showing up on the regular and redeeming um, that game that you made, and thanks for, uh, you know, for kind of opening up the, um, my perception, at least, of how I could do a viewer request night. Um, so if you do happen to make games for any of these consoles, I'm definitely down to try them out. Alright. Next game is going to be... Because my partner is not available and we're going to play that one together, I'm just going to go to the very next one. And unfortunately, <laughs> to go from uh, Indiana Jones to... Home Improvement Power Tool Pursuit is an interesting jump. Thanks again, Stegosaurus McCartney, for the redeem. If you have 4,200 Moonstones, you can use them to add any game you want to the list. It could be a game that you're playing yourself, a game that maybe is frustrating and really difficult for you to get past a certain part, or maybe a game that uh, just through hanging out on the channel that you think would be a great one that uh, for me to play. It's something you think I might enjoy. Um, if you've made a game, like I said, or if there's a really cool ROM hack, or you've made a ROM hack for any game on those uh, systems, please, by all means, feel free to redeem it. Um, thanks again to everyone that has been redeeming and adding games to the list. I will also let people know the next games in the list as well, so we're going to be playing Home Improvement Power Tool Pursuit on Super Nintendo, then Tetris Battle Guide N with my partner Michelle. That's going to be later tonight. Then next Sunday, we're going to play Inspector Gadget on the Super Nintendo, Zelda the Minish Cap on Game Boy Advance, which is a game that I'm definitely going to be continuing as well. Um, we'll play part one of our playthrough on Sunday, and then we'll uh, we'll continue it throughout the series. 
or throughout like as a series throughout the the channel. Uh, and then we've got Dragon Warrior Three, and so some of these are you know lengthy games. Um, if I enjoy it as well, we'll be continuing that playthrough. Uh, so that that'll be next. Um, That'll be next Sunday. So there's a whole bunch more games in the queue, and if you want to add any game at any time, you let me know, and I will message you and let you know when I'm going to play it. Now enjoy some Super Mario RPG music while I update some stream title stuff. Also, I've played this game before. This was redeemed by Stegosaurus McCartney as well. I've played Home Improvement, Power Tool Pursuit. It's got a really ridiculous, wacky um, storyline, um, and it is pretty janky. It does kind of feel like the Indiana Jones game, so I don't know if that was an intentional choice or anything like that, but it feels kind of in the way that you control Tim Allen. It feels like that game. Also, just take a moment and pause. Imagine a alternate universe, hold on, where Tim Allen played Indiana Jones and Harrison Ford played Tim the Toolman Taylor. Because... Harrison Ford was a carpenter, just like our boy Jesus, and just like Karen Carpenter, amazing drummer. Harrison Ford was a carpenter, that's how he got his career. He could have been a tool man. Just saying. Now just, it'll be a moment, and I'll pull this game up. Have I played Anodyne 2? I don't know what Anodyne 1 is or Anodyne 2, so no. Is that a, a modern indie game? Is that a retro game? Also, Dig, have you played a bunch of uh, Binding of Isaac recently, or...? Oh, it's an indie game, nice. Is that available on Steam? I've been wanting to dive more into uh, Binding of Isaac again on stream. I, uh, if you're a fan of Binding of Isaac, I mean, I'm a big fan of randomizing and ran randomizers of retro games, and so a new experience every single time, roguelikes are right up my alley, and the Binding of Isaac Rebirth just always makes me want to play Zelda, and Zelda always makes, makes me want to play the Binding of Isaac Rebirth, but I do have the game, I don't have any of the DLC, just the core game, and Repentance came out when I was streaming it, and no one really wanted to come and see the, the standard, um, like, non-DLC version of the game, but I think it's been a while now and the Repentance hype has died down. I just want to play it and enjoy it um, without the DLC. Uh, it looks like Dig was saying, so, uh, someone else I saw playing Anodyne 1, I think it was Iterama. Nice. What is, uh, so what kind of game is it? What is Anodyne all about? Um, let me just quickly... Whoop.
think we got it. I'm back. You should be able to see the game. And here we go. This is another one redeemed by Stegosaurus McCartney. Um, this game is going to be pretty insane. Thank you again for the the redeem. Uh, oh, oh, oh. What is this saying here? Do, do, do. Let me catch up on the chat. Let me catch up on the chat, 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 chat. Okay. Dig Pistrayer is saying Anodyne 1 is. The first one was a top down RPG. Turn based, you think? Nice. The new one is all 3D. Henny Blank says, oh, okay, good. I was just about to say, is it, is it stream overtime? No, no, no. Um, no, we've uh, we've got a bunch of games in the queue, so I'm going to be playing them in the order that, they're, that they've been uh, redeemed. Also, my partner Michelle, normally we'd be playing her redeem right now, Tetris Battle Gaiden on the Super Famicom. We'll dive into Tetris as soon as uh, she gets back. I'll probably take a, a break. We're going to have some dinner, and then we're going to play some Tetris together. But uh, so I just moved to the next one on the list, which, again, is a Home Improvement Power Tool Pursuit. The first game, Indiana Jones Greatest Adventures, redeemed by Stegosaurus McCartney. And I hope he's here and able to watch it. And also, um, then the second game, Blobbert, was an NES homebrew. Part of a game dev competition, actually, over at nesdev.com. And there's a whole bunch of those competitions that are held there a lot. A lot of people um, make some really interesting things, kind of like a game jam situation. And there's also lots of cool homebrews out there if you dive in. And then uh, now we're playing Home Improvement Power Tool Pursuit by Stegosaurus. Um, Henny says that game sounds whack as hell. Nice. Dig is looking for something good to play. So Henny Blank played Civ 6 today, but the on only the first 150 rounds because you're hand cramped. Yeah, if anyone has any suggestions for Dig on, on games, um, on games to play. Toss it into the chat. I was thinking about going through the King's Quest or like the, all the old point and click adventure, like Monkey Island games. They're super fun. I didn't grow up with those though, that's the thing. I, I want to tie stuff into nostalgia. Oh, this is awful. <laughs> There you go, everyone. <laughs> you made a preset called Electric Lady Land that's only female leaders. Nice. Dig Pistrayer is saying. Oh, I can't tell. Randomized Mega Man inspired roguelike. Oh, amazing. That's 20XX. I've heard of it. I've heard of it. I would definitely play that. This is going to be awful. This storyline, too, is just going to be awful. I've played this before. <laughs> you ready for this, folks? <laughs> Al, today is a very special day here at Tool Time. The Binford Tool Company is honoring their favorite TV personality. Well, thank you, Tim. I appreciate Binford's support. Not you, O Prince of Plaid. It's me, Tim, the Tool Man Taylor. And how will they be honoring you, O Master of Mistakes? by adding my name to a new line of ultra power tools. Everyone knows that real craftsmen don't need more power, Tim. Ah, uh, don't give me that new age philosophy. The modern man wants the same thing he did in the stone age. What is that, audience? More power. Ah, uh, yes, the lilting sounds of the catchy Binford jingle. It's time to reveal the new Binford Taylor turbo power tool line. Oh my god, he's, he walks like uh, Simon Belmont. The toolcase is empty. Call security. Call the police. Call the National Guard. Now, Tim, calm down. The tools are probably misplaced, that's all. Sure, Al. It's okay for you to be calm. The tools don't have your name on them. Look, I found this note backstage. If you ever want to see your precious tools again, go back to the Stone Age where you belong. Okay, Al, the joke's over. Where are the tools? Tim, honest. I didn't take your tools. What an asshole. He just instantly uh, accuses his buddy. I wonder what the note means. Stone Age, huh? You know, we might... Try looking right here on the lot. They're filming Dinosaur Safari on Sound Stage 3. For some reason, they're filming like a local public access um, TV show 
like handyman TV show, and then on Soundstage Three, they're filming an entire like Steven Spielberg style. Clearly ripping off Jurassic Park Dinosaur Safari film, which is pretty funny. I sincerely hope Hal Al did it. That's funny. Uh, this game was released on the Sega Genesis, I'm pretty sure, as well. Yep. Yes, everyone. Oh. Look at freaking Tim Allen's face in the bottom corner. No. So, this is two games associated with Jonathan Taylor Thomas, by the way, that are just god-awful on the Sega Genesis and the NES. You got your Lion King, because we all know JTT was the voice of Baby Simba. BB Sims. And the OG Lion King. In fact, I have to say the OG Lion King is pretty saddening. And then, uh, you got this. It's two claims to fame. Oh yeah. Staple gun. There's no need for you to actually like hurt anyone. You're just trying to find the freaking tools, man. Get out of here. We're not killing nothing. This does feel a little bit like um, Boogerman, which we played. So Daryl's keeping with a theme for sure. Why do his pants look like his ass is out? Yeah, it's his butt. Nah, it's his tool belt, but it looks like his butt. Tim the tool butt tailor. Oh. Yes. <laughs> right? Is that what you're supposed to do? <laughs> Favorite video game monkeys? Tim the Toolman Taylor. In Home Improvement, Power Tool Pursuit. Donkey Kong, no, uh, Mankey Kong, who's one of the villains in Donkey Kong Country. And Lanky Kong in DK64. Then we've got ourselves our Ukiki, the monkey from. Whoa! Wow! The monkey from Yoshi's Island. There you go. Um, also, what the hell is happening? Tim Allen would be Tonky Long, or Tonky Along. Have I seen any of the Gunvolt games? Yes, I have. Are you thinking about games to redeem? Also Mega Man inspired, very fun, nice. This game is also trying to do, this. I think this is pretty hilarious. I spent a lot of time with Metroid 2 growing up and um, Super Metroid, but I didn't play a lot of the first one. And on the Game Boy Advance, I picked up Fusion and Zero Mission, knowing that Zero Mission was the first one. Uh, it was just a really cool way to experience it. And one of the things that, one of the things that people remember from that game, from Zero Mission, is you could shoot like this and this and this and this, but you could also hold L and R to shoot diagonally. Not down, though. Metroid Fusion adds the shooting down diagonally, but it's funny that it's in this game, too. I just imagine uh, the Metroid Fusion team just being like, have you guys ever played Home Improvement, Power Tool Pursuit? Imagine if Samus could do that. Could pull off those staple gun moves. Ooh. Apparently Tim is made of screws, nuts, and bolts. Oh, you're just thinking of games. You're suggesting games to check out. Have I seen Death Trash? Whoa. Death Trash? No, I have not. Is the music uh, loud enough, folks? What are you supposed to do? There's nothing you could have done there. Like, nothing. Noises, yes. Music, inaudible. I think it's just the game. The game actually has just, like, really, 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 really low, low uh, audio for some reason. Um, would I play that as a redemption? I could. But, so basically, for the redemption... It's typically any game for Game Boy, Game Boy Color, Game Boy Advance, mm -hmm. NES, mm -hmm. SNES, or Sega Genesis. Mm -hmm. I try to play retro games only for the Sunday nights. Mm -hmm. 
just to keep it open. But I, I would be, I would consider just like playing it as a playthrough, um, retro only. Or I mean, I can definitely consider if someone has like a retro aesthetic, then um, I could consider it. But I would, I'm always down for game suggestions, Dig. If you are playing new uh, like indie games on Steam, or you find like a gem that like you're spending a lot of time with, I'm super super down for the suggestions. Especially roguelikes, because I know that we've we've talked about roguelikes a couple of times. Um, and where the frick do we go? Yeah, we're just constantly dying in the same spot every time. So funny. But always down for suggestions for games like that. I actually just uh, we raided Shodan Freeman recently. I want to say, which is a, a really great retro channel as well. Um, yesterday or two days ago and ended up winning because uh, Shodan Freeman has a really cool setup for he, he was doing his viewer request night he has a really cool setup for his channel where he spins a roulette wheel and gives away you can enter a giveaway and uh, gives away a steam game and I, I just got uh, a new beginning which is a sort of 2d hand-drawn in the style of like Monkey Island like the the middle Monkey Island games um, like a point-and-click adventure game, and it kind of got me thinking, like, it'd be cool to, to visit those point-and-click adventures, maybe play some Maniac Mansion, um, a whole bunch of those games. It'd be kind of fun. Yeah, I'm, I'm always down for more, more, uh, suggestions. I don't know if we're gonna be able to actually get to the very last level here. Or just, not to the last level, to the end of this level. Ooh, I didn't even see those spikes. <sighs> yes. Okay, hold on, everyone. Did you guys just hear that music? Boom, 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 boom. It, it's the Home Improvement theme song. Listen. for this one must have had some fun with it. I hope they did. It's like the scene in... First off, if this is, if this is a movie, these aren't real bugs. Um, and it's also like this, like the scene in the Simpsons Trios of Horror episode where Homer accidentally turns his... What the fuck? Accidentally turns his uh, toaster into a time machine, and he goes back in time, and then he ends up killing a bug, changing everything. Spoiler. Spoiler alert. Uh, the farther back you are, the more range you got. I see. Hell yes! Someone click this. Hell yes. Invincibility and it did nothing. Ooh. That's what you need, Dad, after getting destroyed by a dinosaur, is, uh, some freaking seltzer water in your face. Um, I just realized today's Father's Day, and this is a hilarious game to be playing on Father's Day. Totally unintentionally lined up that way. I don't know how. Interesting. 
Five crates left. What the hell? What crates? What crates? Oh, that's a crate. Oh my god, this is nuts. have to get that, so there's no way, there's no way we're getting progress in this game, come on. We're not making progress in this game at all. That's how this game makes me feel. to be fun like imagine you like woke up christmas morning and then your parents like were, like remember that tv show we used to watch home improvement or we or you just watched a new episode of home improvement in the morning and then your parents were like check out what we got for you as you just as you're hearing the end credits of an episode and you're like oh cool thanks mom thanks dad <laughs> Uh, yes. Okay, we gotta thank Tim Allen's mom and dad for... For this one here. Let's go. Hell yes. What is this, a laser chainsaw? Yes, please. No. Oh. I realize this game is ironically making me make Tim Allen noises. Oh, I get it. We have to go that direction. I got gotcha. you. Four crates left. Imagine someone made a roguelike inspired by this game. Where every single time you played, it was a different sound studio. Or just a racing game like Tim Allen Kart, and you can just race like this. Different colors of Tim Allen t shirts. Alright. <laughs> I'm going to take a quick break, eat some food, um, and I, we're not going to play more of this one, though. Uh, it is, you know, the sprites aren't terrible. The sprite work isn't terrible, but it's very janky, very hard. A lot of people would put, like, Lion King on the Sega Genesis up there in, like, very difficult to play games. This is really up there. I think it's, it was also available for Sega Genesis. I mean, this TV show was made a lot of money for Tim Allen, so I'm, I'm sure this game did, too, even if it was just for, like, one summer. Uh, thanks again, though, Daryl, for the redeems. Really appreciate it. It's uh, awesome to do these Sunday retro streams. We have another one in the mix. The next game we're going to play is Tetris Battle Gaiden. Um, I'm going to play with my partner, and uh, that is redeemed by my partner, Michelle Butterfield. Uh, and then, so I just went to the next game because we got to Tetris right away, but um, we'll play that right after. And then, uh, yeah, if we have time, I might do the next redeem, which is also from Segasaurus McCartney, which is Inspector Gadget on the Super Nintendo. We'll check out what kind of game it is. I don't think it's a platformer, um, but I, I like the through line of these 90s cartoons. I know that you've been, with Indiana Jones and, and Home Improvement, it's been a different one, but I really like the through line of the 90s cartoons that, that Daryl's been uh, been doing in his redeems because uh, we used to live together. We're really good friends, and, and he knows how much I love and appreciate classic 40s, 50s, 60s, 70s, 80s, 90s cartoons, basically the whole, uh, whole gamut of animation. Um, I'm a big fan of animation and... 
there's a lot of these games that are based on shows that we watch together. So um, I'm stoked for that. Um, up next is a Tetris game on the Super Famicom. We're going to take a quick break, um, but we've got Tetris Battle Gaiden. And for a long time, I didn't know there was any Tetris games on the Super Nintendo. There's one called Tetri Super Tetris, and then there's Tetris 2 and Bombless, which uh, Bombless was recommended to me by several people, by like six or seven people. But we'll be playing some t uh, Tetris Battle Gaiden, and it is just available for the Super Famicom. For me, I spent a lot of time... Um, with the NES Tetris. It was in my original collection um, when I was a kid. My uncle gifted me an NES with a bunch of games, and so I spent a lot of time with that, uh, the original Tetris, and then also Tetris DX, which is just a color-enhanced version of uh, the Tetris on Game Boy. Um, and then I spent a lot of time also with Tetris, uh, the new Tetris, I think it was called, or Tetris 64. Uh, maybe it's called Tetris Worlds, whatever the, the N64 one was. I used to rent that one a lot. Um, I thought it was pretty fun. Um, so yeah, it's just going to be a moment here. We'll play some more music from Super Mario RPG. I'm just going to take a, a break to eat some food. And then um, myself and my partner Michelle will come back and we'll play some Tetris Battle Gaiden. So stick around. Thanks again, everyone who's been hanging out. Thanks again, Danny Poplio, for the raid. Really, really appreciate it. Um, and also, thank you to Michelle Butterfield for resubscribing to tier one and uh you know the five month anniversary we've been streaming for five months so thank you for streaming from the very beginning i really appreciate it um and yeah we'll be uh diving into this very shortly we have a goal on this channel as well to hit 400 followers we are two followers away so we are one follower away <laughs> so there you go um if you want to be the 400th follower uh what we're going to do to celebrate is we're going to play wario land 4 on the game boy advance i'm really excited for that because last month we hit 300 um, and we were able to uh, play Wario Land 1, 2, and 3. It was lots of fun. Thanks, thank you so much for the follow hook line. And uh, yeah, it'll be a quick break here. And I'll be back with some Tetris Battle Gaiden. Stick around, folks.
Alright, thanks again for your continued patience, everyone. Um, I'm just going to be a few more minutes, and then I'll be back with my partner, Michelle, who redeemed 4200 Moonstones to add this next game to the list. Tetris Battle Gaiden, it's available only on the Super Famicom. If you're just joining, I see a few more people are joining the stream. Thank you so much for tuning in. Really appreciate it. Every single Sunday at 6.30pm Pacific, you can come back here and watch me play this ongoing, ever-growing list of retro games decided by you. And thank you, Lord Loki Asgard, for adding Gunstar Heroes for the Sega Genesis. Really appreciate the redeem. I'll be back in just a moment for some Tetris Battle Gaiden. Stick around.
hello, I am back. Thank you so much for your patience, everyone. For those that stuck around, our next game here is uh, redeemed by my partner, Michelle Butterfield, and she's joining me. And we do have an ongoing Mario Golf playthrough that we've done, uh, like co-op Mario Golf. You can catch that on YouTube. If you're new to the channel and you're just joining, we are one follower away from 400. And when we hit that 400 mark, we're going to be celebrating by playing Wario Land 4. Lucky to be playing that this week. And perfect timing with the Super Mario RPG music. Another game you'll see us play on the stream. Okay. So the game here, um, I wasn't aware of any Super Nintendo uh, Tetris game. Like I said before the break, I grew up playing the NES Tetris, and I also had Tetris DX, which is just an enhanced color version of the black and white Game Boy Tetris. And I, like, I just was surprised that there was a Super Nintendo Tetris, and that there's four Super Nintendo Tetris games. There's Super Tetris 2, there's Super Tetris and Bombless, or Plus Bombless, whatever that is. That's been recommended by multiple people now at this point. And yeah, I'm, uh, I'm stoked to dive into this one. So I know that, that we both really lo love Tetris. So Love Tetris. It's going to be fun. We, uh, I recently discovered From Below, a 2020 Tetris variant, where you have to like fight against time, uh, visualized by a squid that's attacking, like climbing up a, a cliff and trying to attack a castle. So it's just like a fantasy-themed like variant on Tetris. <clears throat> And it's really cool. It was made by a small team, and we played a little bit of that as well. It was uh, it was fun. Not on stream, but um, really fun game. So here we go. Let's give it a shot. So I have no idea what, like, I'm pressing because I don't read Japanese, but let's just go for it. What? Oh, I like this cute little pumpkin. Character select. Oh, we've got options. Hell yes. All right. So they're numbered, so we could go with number three. But I dig this pumpkin for sure. That's really cool. We've got the, the bunny. I think this is a racist depiction of a tribal person. I'm not going to lie. I think that's what that is. That's a racist depiction of someone from um, Arabia, perhaps. Uh, the Sailor Moon type character, I guess. We've got Alvin and the Chipmunks and the Seven Dwarfs. Alvin and the Seven Chipmunks. <laughs> like, they definitely look like the Chipmunks. Um, some sort of samurai and his frog buddy. That's a cool character. And a one-eyed wolf warrior. Cool. Cool. This is kind of an interesting cast of characters for Tetris. Yeah, interesting. Kind of want to. Do you want to be the Chipmunks? Sure. Just because it's multiple characters. It yeah. Seems, seems intriguing. Sounds good. Um, I imagine the characters are just going to reflect, like, Dr. Robotnik's Mean Bean Machine or Puyo Puyo Pop. A lot of times the characters just reflect, like, the visual that you're seeing. Does that mean we don't... We don't play the game? P people who read Japanese are probably laughing at me right now. They're like, that's just the character select. so confused. So did, is this the first time you've hit the first one? The first option? I just want to make sure I'm pressing the right buttons. Yeah, I think we keep circling back. There we go. I pressed B, that's why. I had to press the A button. Alright. Dragon's Castle. Let's go. That's the story. You know, like, two sentences in Japanese and you can usually identify Saki. So let, let us know if you see the word Saki. <clears throat> Wow, okay. So, we got a map of Battle World with Tetris Isle up here. The Sun House Hills. You like Sun House? You like Sun House? Yanbu, Banbu, Sand, and Nakadat. Good old Nakadat. And then Gecko. And then L Ship Lake. Where do you want to start? Um, well, I think these are the actual levels. So, we've got Halloween. Uh, I don't know what that says there, because our character is covering it, but like mirror or something. Um, Shaman, that's what that is. Aladdin, 
Wolfman, Ninja, and Princess. So we can choose who we want to face. Who should we face? I don't know. It's up to you. Maybe Halloween. Is uh, is the the audio okay? I think you might have to talk a little bit louder. Okay, I'll try to talk. Halloween. Halloween's a good one. Okay. We're just first time playing this game, so just messing around with it. Okay, Miru Run is what that says. That's a bomb, whatever that uh, yellow circle is. We're, we're not doing good, I can see the opponent is... Strategizing quite well. A spell on me, and he's clearing out his own. Yeah, he casts a spell on me where it like mess with my with my block. Oh shit! That's your punishment. This is cool. Yeah, that is cool. How's the music? It's like typical haunted house music. In fact, totally. They're not great headphones. headphones. Yeah, totally. <laughs> this is really interesting and cool already. Yeah, it's an interesting um Oh yeah. It's an interesting take on it. This is great. It's got it's like kind of haunted house Halloween vibes. And we played some really cool variants of Tetris. Oh no, he's doing it again. We played some really cool variants of Tetris on, on stream so far. We've done uh, From Below. How do, you, uh, how do you cast spells on your opponent? I think I just have to get like a series of lines. Ah. Like you have to do well. And then you get the reward. Yeah, exactly. Like like a lot of games like Puyo, Puyo Pop and like I was mentioning earlier. Right in there. The uh, Dr. Robotnik's Mean Bean Machine. Yeah, good. he's casting. Um, but he, that, that's how two player works in terms of like you know, playing the opponent. That's interesting. Oh, this is with, like, oh brutal. That's interesting. Um, so I don't have to that. Nice. Oh no, we gotta go faster Yo. Yeah, see, like. Again? I think we have to earn moves basically like that. Basically, the, the better you do. Oh, wow. Holy crap. Whoa. Okay, we're doing a move now. Something happened. The music just changed. Yeah, he's getting robbed. There's like a whole gang of burglars okay, that just. Oh, no. You can't do that to me. Wow. Wait, is that a moment? Did I have to say it? Oh, my gosh. I feel like I have an advantage not, hear, not hearing the uh, stressful music. You know what I mean? Yeah, I mean, like, yeah, it's like, who cares about the time? Yes! Who got this? Yes! Good job. Ha <laughs> ha! 
<laughs> yeah, I guess that's kind of nice. Oh, when you don't have the music, yeah. you don't know. Because the music is supposed to heighten your heart rate and get the adrenaline going. Yeah. So it's actually an advantage to not have the music maybe and be a little bit calmer. Yeah, totally. And it also informed, it informs your experience so much, right? Like, think about how many games where, like, the music speeds up, like in Mario, when you have 100 seconds left, or yeah, exactly. um, in Super Metroid, where all of a sudden you have to, like, run out of the space station at the very beginning, because it's going to self-destruct. And all those moments are, like, it's, it's funny, you can, there's a lot of games with the options to turn their music off. And, uh, like, even, um, Link to the Past Randomizer, we often play listening to other game soundtracks, and it just totally yeah. informs the experience in a completely different way. Um, this is crazy. Okay, so... We'll swap in just a second. So we can both, uh, try out different modes. Oh, yeah, and sure different can. characters, too. This is really cool. <clears throat> if anybody knows of any other Tetris, um, variants, like, I've also played, uh, Magical Tetris Challenge, I used to rent that one, it was on N64, but there's apparently also a Game Boy Color version of it. And it's basically a Disney Capcom game, but it's Disney Capcom Tetris. And I don't think Capcom made any other Tetris games, but it's it's, it's really cool. It has all sorts of different shapes for the... Uh, but there's, there's all sorts of like awkward shapes that make it really difficult. To not have like gaps in your, uh, in your screen, basically. The opponent's doing it. <laughs> oh shoot. Well, the opponent is I not just did that. real, so. Boom. Okay, so you say that and we were playing a Game Boy Color <laughs> license game recently. And it was it was actually the Harry Potter Chamber of Secrets yes, uh, Game Boy Color awesome. RPG. And there was a moment, like one of the mini games was like um, uh, what do you call it? It was like a whack-a-mole game. It's like you had to find these gnomes. You had to de-gnome the yard, basically. And it was like, it started off to explain it, and it was like, you and Ron need to de-gnome the yard. You need to compete to de-gnome the yard. The Game Boy will control Ron. You will control Harry Potter. And it's like, intense. It's like, if you really think about how that's written, it's like, if you think about it, it's basically saying that the AI is the Game Boy controlling the enemy, which it kind of is, but it just felt like really intense. It felt like the Cruciatus Curse. Like the Game Boy is controlling my opponent here. The Potter. right side of the screen. You control the left side of the screen. <laughs> it's like, it just feels like super intense. Unnecessarily. And I'd never seen any game described uh, that like that. Like, the opponent is being controlled by the Game Boy. Nice, good job. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. So are these things bombs? Like, can we activate them? Sure. I don't know. And also, does it alternate which mm -hmm. way it spits out the pieces? Up top? Uh, I think so. Or no, it's always default. Because it seems inconsistent. I don't know, actually. I don't know. I'll have to just keep an eye. Like on the, the purple On one. the one that's next. Yeah, because like this one, okay, so it gave you the blue one. And then, but it, then yeah, it also gave us the purple one the same time. So. Oh yeah, we're, we got one, so. we're both, uh, that's the thing I think with this is that we're both actually... Um, we're both uh, feeding from the same like piece pile, yeah. like main deck, like drawing from the deck, basically. If you if it was yeah, like a card, exactly. a card game comparison, this is cool. I haven't really played too many bad variants of Tetris, though, to be honest. A lot of them are really cool, whether they're like homebrew projects <clears throat> or even ROM hacks. Apparently, there's a few. Tetris ROM pack, ROM hacks. I have a few of them um, ready to go for another Tetris stream. Because there's so many different variants. We'll just do. Uh, we did one recently and it was a lot of fun. If you want to join that one, that'd be cool.
Damn. Is the music still the hard to attach music? Yes. The bass line's amazing. That's one of the things about uh, Tetris games that make them so great is, is when they have awesome music because you're spending a lot of time on the same screen, right? It's gonna be repetitive. But you have to have good music. Like Tetris DX had some amazing music as well. What's happening? He's attacking. Getting attacked. Ooh. So we still haven't figured out how we can Toxic attack smog. our opponent. Okay, so I pressed up. Twice in two different occasions. Like something went up. I think it was X and up or Y and up. And then it activated. That's how we attacked as the five chip looks. But it's not letting me do it now. It's not letting me do it now. I think I have to like earn it. You know what I mean? Yeah. Pretty sure. It does look like art, though. It's cool. Yeah, yeah, that's cool. You know, to be honest, it would be really cool to, like, do an art show, like an art gallery showing, where you had the final screens of Tetris. Like, the final screens of, like, 100 Tetris games. Yeah, the full... And then you just had them printed as on, on, on tapestry, like, on fucking... Oh, boy. A scroll. That's that. That's the kind of shit you do. Mm -hmm. That's cool. You're cool. All right, I'm assuming <clears throat> this is try again. Go for it. <coughs> um, would you recommend using these controls or these controls? These are available. These are? Aren't available. Just so it's just these guys? Yeah, it's just that one, yeah. <laughs> All and then what to draw? Do you need to draw? No, there's no drop button in this. Oh, it's just these guys and... Yeah. Oh. So you, you can tap down really quickly, but there's no, but it's individual. You can't okay. instant draw. Maybe it's something we unlock eventually, because a lot of different Tetris variants, uh, they sometimes they kind of work like different Metroid games, where they give you your power-ups or the different modes in different orders. We'll do Shaman. How do we <clears> select this bad boy? Uh, press it. story. Okay, here we go. Nice, how very Yoshi's Island of them. Very pretty, it looks like pencil crayon drawing, eh? Mm -hmm. Okay, so just with these guys? Yep. You know what I mean? Like normally up is the, is the insta drop button, but I think up is what you can do attacks with. Like up or combination of I'm just totally guessing here, this is not like, like, again, this is the first time both of us are experiencing this game. It was controls. messing with me, and it and it flipped it. Crazy. Oh my god. There you go. Lame. At least it's like a nice slow break. 
Oh, interesting. No, I don't want to drop it like that. Oh, it made me drop it. That's crazy. Lame! I don't like that I'm getting messed with by this person and I can't no, press, press up. do anything. Press up, press up, press up. I am pressing up. Yeah, see, you just did boom. So instead of insta drop, you can press up when you bank. Like, see how ah, there's like these dots here? Okay. You banked four. You had four of them. So okay, now you're cool. messing with them. Which might have helped them, but might have not. Who knows? Let's keep playing. The music's very Seinfeld right now. <laughs> Nice. I like how we were just playing Home Improvement in the list, and then now the music is very Seinfeld. We're just I love rocking that Home all Improvement the, all is those. still a, a, like a relevant reference. I think I'm so glad it hasn't been forgotten. If there's a Seinfeld game, what would it be? Anyone? Suggest. Mm -hmm. Let's Good go. Question. Let's build on it. That, or if there was a, a Friends game. Well, Friends I'm sure there are many that exist. No, I don't think so. Like, there's not. Uh, I don't think they ever licensed a video game. But let, let's say, what would a good one be? Yeah, what would a good one be? Like, if you had to make one, if you had to make one up. Like, I feel like a Seinfeld RPG would be perfect. Newman could be a mini boss. Um, I you, think there's like Friends Jerry. themed dinner party games and stuff. You play as Jerry, and instead of the Light Warriors, they're. Uh, they're basically like instead of being the chosen ones, uh, or instead of the chosen ones being like uh, actual medieval characters, you could have basically Final Fantasy one, but with Jerry, Elaine, Kramer, and George. That'd be pretty funny. I don't know who would be the Sephiroth in that universe, but it could be Newman. The Sephiroth's there if you want to imagine that. What else? What kind of friends game? Friends could be a puzzle game. Yeah. Just with oh, really, no! really shitty voice clips. I'm getting oh. attacked. Okay. What? Something's happening. What happened? Ooh, what? Super trippy. Yeah. That's that actually it messes just with me big time. Well, maybe not. You, you can clear oh, that. and it sped up. Wait, no! No, you just attacked him. Perfect. Because you pressed up. That's, oh, I did. Yeah, yeah, so that's what ah. it was. Oh, no, or you used an item. I guess that's what it is. It's a, I, whether yeah, it's, a, it's, whether it's an attack or something that helps you. It was unintentional. Press up. You've got him. Yes. Because he had two banked. Yeah. If you don't like what the other person can do, you gotta mess with them. Oh, cool. 
Is this like some slow sort of... Slow-mo! Is it gonna... No, take advantage of the slow-mo. Like, I oh, can get more pieces in there. I'm slow-mo. Hmm? Everyone is. Do you know what I mean? Or you, you mean you in, in reality? In my... real... reality. Cool, that wasn't helpful to me at all because I didn't do advantage. Oh, you can sneak that in there. Be careful. What? No, I'm not Slip doing it. Flip it in. I'm, I'm not doing oh. that. Are you quoting Black Flag songs now? No. Oh. <laughs> not a touch. Oh no. Must it's the dizzy one. <coughs> it's touch fuzzy, get dizzy. Oh, jeez. Oh no! <laughs> it's fun again. Touch fuzzy, get dizzy. Uh, no! Bad time to <laughs> grab water. Please don't do that again. That would be another tapestry right there. Yeah. The last one kind of looked like um, tulip flower. Yeah. Also, kind of looks like a game of Minesweeper. Here. Hold on, what happened here? Oh, that's it. Oh, look what he's doing. He's smacking his butt. Sorry if that's coming through on the stream. It's all good. Get a hydrate. Yeah, just have a little pickle. Interesting. Let's change our character and see what we can, what else we can play as. We can be the wolf. The white wolf. The wolf. Oh, has a pink bunny. Yeah, let's go for the wolf. The wolfy. The floof. We both love a good sleuth. And we'll, we'll face the bunny. Miru run. I don't know what that means. Probably some word in Japanese, probably. Got those tunes. Hmm? Cool. Ooh, nice. Okay, let's do this. This is cool. This I do like the idea that you bank moves. Um, I think that's probably I like the main aspect. Player. Yeah, we gotta get That'd another so controller. Let's do it then. Hmm? Have we said that before on stream? <laughs> <laughs> I think so. We have to actually do it. Hmm? Yeah, man. Mm. What's the music like in this one? Uh, it's like kind of low-key epic. Little nice melody going with some big chords. Little flute action. Nice. Now it's now it's a flute melody. I can't wait to watch this back. <laughs> Yo. I like that. I like the three up with the. Uh, yeah, that's cool. With the like all powerful arms, basically. Wow. Mm -hmm. yeah, this is a cool like like. I like this. This could be a, a regular in the rotation for future games. Yeah, it's very playable. Shoot, see? Look at this yeah. guy. Holy Ooh. shit. 
There's cool sound effects that were happening like weird. Oh, but look at this. Oh, nice. Did that help That's me? cool. You just gotta break through. It's kind of dope because boy. it's impossible to create that floating effect in the game normally. So it's cool to play like that, right? Yeah, definitely. Nice. This is interesting. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. 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 Create. It's like, um, like you were saying. Far right. Far right. Or there it works. <laughs> <laughs> My brain broke. I'm sorry. That's what happened when I got that slowdown. I was like, why is it so slow? Just sitting there watching it. <laughs> Well, it's, it's like you were saying, like, yeah, all, all the items and stuff, they, they end up doing uh, totally different things to the map that you wouldn't normally be able to do in any other Tetris game, like, from what I've seen. Totally. Well, let's save this. Switching it up, there we go. Switched. Switched back to <laughs> I, I love the, <laughs> I love the, uh, the live commentary. It's like a sports, a sporting event. <laughs> Looking forward to switching it up, and there we go. And okay. There we go. And now the Oops. melody's different. The rhythm's different. It's, it's got a groove. There's the flute again. <laughs> oh, that was cool. A little samurai chop action. Thanks. Yeah, this, this is cool. like this is like a Ronin warrior wolf. Oh. That's my assumption. Oop. Yep. You. Son that of a little bunny. pink you bunny. Son, son of a bunny's uncle. What? Pink bunny. So your bunny cousin? Son of a bunny's uncle? Oh, what the hell? Son okay. of a bunny uncle. I can't control this at all. I'm st- oh, okay. I was stuck in the middle. Nope. Oh. I'm gonna lose the Tetris tonight. Right? No, you got this. Rotate it again. Rotate it again. See, sometimes it sticks and then you can't do it again. I think once it touches, you can't... In some versions of Tetris, even when the piece has landed, you can even, like, shuffle it across the board sometimes and, like, nestle it in. As long as you don't stop moving it. And look at this tapestry. That would be an awesome one. Yeah, Just it's cool. See? Screenshot. That's what I do. That's what I do. I should have got it, yeah. Ready. I like that it says Yater and then ready. It rearranges. Yater. The Yater, Yater would be brood. The Yater to go? I'll get Yater to set. 28 fried spicy Yaters to go. They're fried and they're spicy. It's like nug life. <clears throat> you want to tell your story about how somebody just sent you a random, like, children's valentine that said nug life on it? <laughs> yeah, my friend sent me the most <coughs> random piece of mail. And it had a chicken nugget on it, by the way, and it said but nug life. It was from life. McDonald's. Yeah, it was sweet. She missed me. She sent me some mail. But what was really funny is that there was like three addresses associated with her name or something. There were two. It? Yeah, she'd written her address <laughs> on the piece of mail twice, on the inside and the outside of this little card. Mm -hmm. Two different addresses, I might add. And the message was just to Michelle from my friend's mm -hmm. name. <laughs> like, what? What was the just mm -hmm. for the nug life? Yeah, she just sent the nug life. <laughs> She knew that you were just into the chicken nuggets, apparently. Uh, well, she's not wrong. Oh, no. Oh, no, oh, no. he's just getting it. No, you're good. Oh, is no. He? Perfect. He's screwed. Is it music? Yeah, just while this effect is happening. You get your little polka. 
I'm not sure what it's doing. Um, I think it's just the effect that's meant to try to mess with you. Like, psychologically. Like, it's hmm? just, it looks different and sounds it's just, different. Just, just a visual one, yeah. Yeah. But, um... Some of the other ones will do something that slows the opponent down specifically, or like benefits you. I, I really like that there's a huge variety of power-ups in this too. Yeah. Like it makes it for every every single playthrough. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's cool. Can you play two dots on stream? Um. One, I'm surprised you didn't pronounce it two dots. Two. Um, I think you'd have to like link your like. Can you play mobile games on stream? Is, is basically because two dots is a really. How would you describe two dots? One of my favorite mobile games. How would you describe it? It's like... Well, it's it's kind of a brain trainer, I guess. It's meant to be kind of like a, like a soothing uh, brain trainer or whatever. Maybe it's not even a brain trainer. Maybe it's just soothing. Um, but it's just a, a board, like a, a square, a big square made up of varying numbers of different colored dots. And you have to create squares and connect the dots and blow up pieces and... You have to basically like trace, trace four dots to, mi to make like a square shape. Like exactly I mean, like the technically piece I just you in. just have to connect two dots, which is why the name is two dots. But you ideally make a square and then more things happen. Kind of like an how, awesome game. how you want to clear lines in this Exactly, it's, it's like clearing the lines. Sure. It clears all the colors of, of that, all the dots of that color off the board as opposed to just those two dots. So I think there's a way to do, I think there's got to be a way to do that. Like and the too. music is so soothing. It's yeah. like very relaxing. The color palettes are lovely. There's all sorts of different uh, daily quests you can do and like different side worlds you can explore and little challenges that you can do that actually end up giving you rewards that you can use in the main game, yeah. which is really handy on the ultra hard levels because I have spent weeks playing the same <laughs> level on two dots. Probably like four or five levels have taken me multiple weeks. That's crazy. To complete. But it's dope. I'm into the 900s now, the, the levels. So you're 900 levels in. Crazy. Yeah. Yeah, and there's got to be a way to do that. There's got to definitely be a way to play mobile games on I Just Died Here. Because um, they attacked me. But um, there's got to be a way to play mobile games on stream. Because I've seen people play them before. Like, yeah, like, totally. Like, like just like uh, random games off their tablet or something. I wonder if we, how we can do it. Maybe on one of our, into? yeah, one of our tablets. Yeah, we, we could, have. We could look at it. We have sure. two that we could definitely try it on. Because so. I want to do, um, I want to do more once we get the switch set up. I want to do more like relaxing, de-stressing games. We're gonna start a, a farm cool. on Stardew Valley. We'll play a bunch of puzzle games. Yeah. That could totally be right in the mix. Yeah, I would I would be down to do some two dots on on camera as well, on the stream. Go we'll try. Aladdin? Yeah. Sounds good. Hey, honey bike. Hello. We're back from AFK. This is Michelle, yes. Hi. Yes, I am the Michelle. Hi. You should be able to hear both of us. Cool. Nice. Got the moon again. We got the lamp. I like that it looks like it's dancing on two little legs. Yeah. It's like Beauty and the Beast meets Aladdin. Yeah. Right? Like, imagine the magic lamp was just a friend of Lumiere and Cogsworth. They'd be buddies. They'd be exactly. buds. Uh, and the magic lamp would have been emptied of a genie long ago, and then the beast just fills it with gravy. It's just a gravy boat. That's fine. <laughs> Gravy Lantern? Gravy Lantern, exactly. This Thanksgiving. <laughs> we're doing it. This, we're making this it a thing. This Coming this Thanksgiving. Coming this Thanksgiving. <laughs> the Gravy Lantern. The Gravy Lantern. Starring. Who's in it? Jack Black. I'm going to say Nicolas Cage. And the voice of and a CG, of a completely CG, deep faked Nicolas Cage. It's a, no, we, we don't have, we, we completely we don't have enough money. Get that. We completely deepfaked Nicolas Cage and we asked him to do the voice of himself. 
would that be the, the path forward? Yeah. We just start replacing actors, but we get, but they're, but they're gonna be out of work. So then, once we have the CG version mm -hmm. like, totally completed, um, you do them a favor and you just mute oh, no. the audio track on the deep fake actor, and then let them come to the studio and do all the, the lines. So they got still a pur they still have a purpose. You know, that's that's the future of acting. That's it. Cool. That's it. And it'll be like NASCAR drivers, where like every actor will be like David Schwimmer is back in the Friends reunion, in 2087, oh, and no. he'll and he'll be like sponsored by Coca Cola or something like that. So that's the future. Is this one of those weird Tetrises? Yes, it is. Um, Henny Blank, we are playing Tetris Battle Guide N. It's uh, just a, a Tetris variant. Oh, variance. it's giving me some of its rows. Check. <laughs> It happens. Oh, just a few more. Thanks, man. So I guess the the concept of this battle guide end is that it's obviously like there's all these like battle moves. Oh. It's kind of almost like Super Smash a little bit. It feels like just like very head to head. It's cool. Um. You've got moves, by the way. Press up. What? Press up. Oh yeah. Use move. Yes. Boom. So you choose a character and then you can press up to use these moves. You bank them. And uh, what's it doing? Nothing at the moment. Oh. Do you want to give me some pieces I can use? And also, <laughs> it's also there both uh, both players, interestingly enough, in this are pulling from the same pool of, of pieces in the middle. Yeah, like so the depending deck on cards. who gets to it first, we're drawing from the same deck basically. Yeah. But it's really cool. This was only available on the Super Famicom, <laughs> and apparently there's uh, three other Tetris games on the Super Nintendo that I just did not know about. It's probably. Yeah, a lot. Well, there's lots of stuff that everybody doesn't know about. It's just... That's a quote right there. There's a t-shirt. Oh, no, I'm getting attacked. There's lots of stuff that everybody doesn't know about. I'm getting attacked. It sounds like it's dialing a phone. Whoa. What the... Called in a buddy. Oh, it's a clone. It's a ah. clone of his. It's exactly what they're dealing with. What a... It's like walk a mile in my jerk. shoes. Walk a mile in my shoes, my Tetris shoes. Oh man, <laughs> this that is like too oh, oh. close. That's no good. No, that's no good. I don't. It's still attacking. Mm -hmm. That's it. That's, that's the end. That's it. It's game over. That's crazy. That's game over. This is cool though. It is very cool. Okay, let's give this other shot. Yater, ready. Eat it. Eat it. I'll do one more and then you can. Right. Is that cool? Yeah. Well, that's how it, it I think it's like two or three rounds. I think that's how it normally works. Is they, they give you a chance to like. I know. I'm just giving you an time. opportunity to mm -hmm. speak up if you want to play more because. <laughs> I have... You addicted or something? No. It's just sometimes you don't realize how many times you've hit. Have you ever had a, a, a game where you you want you you you, you, you turn you spin you, you you want you want and you, you you wanted a Tetris you so bad that you could, do, you anything? could do anything? <laughs> that was my best attempt at re repeating your vibe. And you could and you had and you. Uh oh, what's going on? You want you could you. They are, they've got electric. I don't know what's happening. I'm just gonna nice. keep. Ele Electris, everybody. See Welcome to Electris. What happens? I know it's lame, but I really like when they give you the little f outlines of where your pieces are gonna go. Oh. Yeah. Some some Tetris games are like that all the way through. Some of them only do that for the first three levels and then they stop. As like a trainer. And I, then eventually it goes away. I know, but it's just so nice to play with it. It's just so easy. If you press up to you've got to move. Oh yeah. And then attack this yes. bad boy. Oh nice. Instead does that. That's mm -hmm. great. Poifant. It's poifant. Yeah, there's a lot of really cool um, moves. And I imagine that like the purple arrow on the left, this is just what I'm I've de I'm deducing. I've deduced it. Um, I've deduced. Oh no, I'm getting attacked. The uh, the purple arrow on the left is uh, indicating like the highest attack, the highest level attack we've been able to get to and to use. Because so far I've only seen four orbs in there. 
Um, and then each one of these squares in the meter to the left or to the right is indicating, like, I guess, like, one special point. And, and so now Michelle has two of them. And um, if we wait oh. and build it up to five, then I bet you that that uh, purple arrow is going to move up to the fifth one. Yeah. It's okay. That's just it's my... Gonna be fine. That's what I've deduced. I've deduced. Mm -hmm. I think it's hilarious that today's Father's Day and I just so happened to be playing uh, Home Improvement on the on the channel earlier. Thank you, Stegosaurus McCartney, for the redeem. I think I'm gonna interrupt you. Something's happening. Something's, Something's happening. happening. You, you no, it's not letting me move. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it's just it, that happened to me too. I forget what it is, but it just like holds you in place. You can move. Okay. You can spin the, the, the pieces though. But that's it. Mm -hmm. That's it. see what happens on the left. Each Aww, line that you that you on. make builds you up, so you were able to attack. That's good. See what happens. Each line that you make is what builds up the meter on the left and the right. That makes more sense. That's not good. This is not gonna help. No, no, no. No. Yes, 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 yes. Yep. Right there. The one you wanna... Cool, let's just speed it up a little. <sighs> this Tetris is wild. Yeah. It, it's pretty crazy. Okay. It's a pretty, uh... It's fun, <laughs> pretty interesting way to play. And I, I like that it, like, it chooses, it, like, picks a lane. It's like, we're gonna make this really cool sort of battle style. Um, version of Tetris, and I think that's pretty sweet. Okay, we'll change our character again. We'll play a few more rounds. Sounds good. Okay, let's be Aladdin this time. Let's rock white Aladdin. Okay, we can't say yeah? white Aladdin. Apparently you can. Come on. Press the wrong button again. Press the B button. When you can't read the language. No, it happens when I can't read my brain signals. There we go. Here we go. Let's go to Wolfman stage. Let's flip it up. Because you were the Wolfman taking on Aladdin, so let's, let's do sense. the reverse. Okay. Ooh, nice. That's cool. Yeah, the artwork's all really nice. Yeah. It's all very nice. So we would only need to get a second controller to do two-player? Yeah. That's cool. It. So we just, we just get another one of these uh, Bluetooth 8-bit do controllers? Yeah. Yeah, that one seems to be working pretty well. Mm -hmm. It's probably the best of all the like Super Nintendo style replica controllers that I've, I've used. I've used a bunch of them. A lot of them are very cheaply made, but this is very, uh, very well made, and there's also... A lot of people that I've seen have just said that they sometimes get wear to the the rubber mm -hmm. on the, the analog sticks, mm -hmm. but then the buttons don't stick, and that's an important thing. And that the, the quality of the controller, it's like, it's its really good quality. It's not, uh, it's basically a Super Nintendo controller with analog sticks that are from the mm -hmm. Switch. Highly recommend it. That was the equivalent of, like, holding the batter mm -hmm. over your head. Yeah. Or the whipped cream, you know, like, or the yeah, or the meringue, or the. How do you know if the if the stiff, the stiff peaks. peaks are enough? Yeah. Or um, what is it? The Dairy Queen Blizzard. Hmm? Oh, they have to put it over there. Do you know? 
Yeah, if you ask them to do it, they have to do <laughs> is, it. It's part a of thing? the job. Yeah. Okay, if you work at Dairy Queen, Fair chime quiet. in. Please chime in. <laughs> if you worked at or do work at Dairy Queen currently. Thank you. Grill it, chill it. Okay, we got this electric electress going on. Bob Dylan goes electress. That's the music right now, so you know. Nice. I'm sure it's gonna sound great with you. <laughs> you sing along. <laughs> I can't wait to check it out. Seriously. It'll be great. I'm stuck. I changed. Nice. Now it's epic again. Yes. Feel more epic. Literally what music does. You're getting attacked. <laughs> you're attacking. Let's go. It did the same thing again. To yeah, Electris. Bob Dylan goes Electris. Mm -hmm. Oh, and, and I'm stuck. I can't press down. That's what stopped no, me. You just stop me from pressing set down. Set it off and wait. That's so boring. Yeah, and you get way less points during that time. So that doesn't help me at all. Nope. Unless you want to take it as like a little chill out moment. Or maybe it does like tons of damage if I get a freaking line when I'm in that mode. Like that. Maybe it'll do some craziness. I don't know. I'm just guessing. What's happening? Something's happening. He's doing something to his. Okay, now you're on again. Something's happening. You're attacking. Mm-hmm. Nice. Get beefed. <laughs> That's what happened. He got beefed. Or he got pork vindaloo. Okay, we're back to the epic jams. Get epic. Get epic. I'm not gonna sing long because I don't really know the tune, but it's pretty good. Ooh. Oh, it's faster. Mm -hmm. I feel more pressure and anxiety. Mm -hmm. But just one round. You're killing it. And can we carry over this stuff? Yes. This, these four orbs? Yes. Do you know this? No, yeah. we can't. Look. Not carried over. You're like, yes. I was being like those people in MKR who are like, we're going to win because we came here to win. And it's not dependent on anybody there's else's a lot of, skill level. There's a lot of people like that that for some reason just say that they're winners, <laughs> but they don't back it up on Really interesting that we're pulling from the same um, like peace pool. It's crazy because it's cool, you don't know which one you're gonna get. It's pissing me off too because I'm like, <laughs> I want that one, and then it's just times it goes, it, to, the it other goes to, the, to the opponent. Like, Come on, commercial. Commercial. <laughs> I'm getting attacked. I want to say thanks to everyone that's been uh, redeeming these games as well, too. Uh, thank you. You're welcome. Thanks for having me on. And uh, thanks to everyone that's been showing up on the regular. I really appreciate it. We are one followers away, believe it or not. We are one followers away, everybody! One follower away from 400, so... You said one followers. Did I? Yeah, it's cute. We are one follower away 
Should I refresh this and see if we're at 400? Or will, no. you, will it tell you in real time? It'll tell you in real time there too. Um, but yeah, if somebody uh, is watching and isn't following, and is into retro games, and um, I don't always do the random list of games, it seems random, but, but this is just the order in which people have been redeeming games, and I, I really appreciate that we're getting a lot of variety from everyone on a variety a of different of variety. consoles, and I'm, dis I'm discovering a lot of games this way, which is really cool. Um, but I do a ton of uh, randomizers, I do a ton of ROM hacks, I play homebrew projects like Wobbert and other uh, games like, basically like full, full on rhythm games, full on RPGs, full on platformers that people have made themselves recently on defunct consoles like the NES or Super Nintendo. So if you're into that kind of stuff. You can always catch me here from 1 p.m. Pacific onward. The next game we have in the queue, probably, um, I'll probably oh. get to it next Sunday. Oh no, it's okay. It's hard mode again. It's not slow mode. Um, but yeah, the next games uh, that we have in the queue, in the queue, which I'll probably get to next Sunday at 6:30 p.m. Pacific. Our uh, Inspector Gadget on Super Nintendo, redeemed by Source McCartney, and I think that was released in 94. And then we're also going to play Zelda, The Legend of Zelda Minish Cap, and it's going to just extend into a full playthrough of that game. That's redeemed by Grimbaum, another retro streamer. I'm really stoked for that. And then after that we have Dragon Warrior 3, and specifically the Game Boy Color version of it. So that's what we'll be playing next uh, next Sunday. I'll probably end up uh, doing just Minish Cap and Inspector Gadget, which is a hilarious combination of games. First off, <laughs> that's what that's what I love about the viewer request next. Um, and if you redeem a game, I will add it to the list and play them in the order that they're redeemed. And I will message you on Twitch and tell you when we're gonna play that game. And there's a full playlist on YouTube of all the previous viewer questions. Super fun. One. Got that second happy face. Second happy face, nice. Chipmunk level. We were the chipmunks, but, but we didn't go to their stage. Bit, it's called. This is you. Okay. And then after this, we'll uh, uh, basically yes. stick around because you'll earn extra moonstones, and then that way you can redeem more games. Ooh. It's quite pixel art. Nice. Um, and yeah, um, yeah, we'll find someone to raid. We'll see who uh, who's streaming, what's going on. Oh, is this the last game of the stream? Yeah, I think so. Oh, cool. Okay. Unless you want to do some more um, more Tetris rounds, you can do that too. But I'm not gonna I'm not gonna play uh, Inspector Gadget yet. Okay. We'll, we'll we'll definitely then that's the next game in the queue, and that'll be the the first game that we continue with next Sunday. Ooh, this is cool. The music is like kind of detuned. I like those little subtle effects that some of the composers and sound designers worked on. Oh, it's so trippy! These retro games, like just to add extra. And I know there's lots of really cool things going on um, with the, the sound here, especially when all the effects happen. Yeah. I oh, wish so you here's could hear slow mode. Well. Here's a slow mode. Nope. Well, I'm gonna be playing a lot of this. Don't worry. And I definitely like um, that last Tetris stream that we did. We played from below a 2020. NES homebrew variant of uh, Tetris, and then we played Tetris DX on the Game Boy Color. And we played Magical Tetris Challenge on the N64, a Capcom Disney Tetris game. That was really fun. I had a blast with with that stream, and we might do some more Tetris streams specifically, just to show off the different variants because there's so many out there. And a lot of them are really, really good. This one's like way up there for me. I would have spent a lot of time with this. If this is available on the Super Nintendo here, 
growing up. Okay, what's happening? Let's get it going. Let's go. Something oh, it's happened. Faster. That's what happened. This is speed up. It like slows down before it speeds up though. It's Any, uh... You haven't earned it. You have to get a line. Each line that you do, do gets one of those. Oh. And then once you have one, you can attack. But if you have one of them, that does one move. If you have two of them, it does a different move. If you have three of them, it does a different move. So you can strategically, if you know what three does, yeah. whenever you earn three, you can drop it. You can drop it. No! Stuck there. <laughs> and I'm getting attacked again. What's gonna happen? I don't know. There's, some... There's no. Jesus. Oh, there we go. They got their first second. It's okay, I'll get the. Don't <laughs> That's what it says. That's what's in the middle. It tells you. I know, but you don't have to point it out. You got two happy faces. Later. Later. No, later. Later. Ready? Go. Oh, later. Later was your thing. I know. <laughs> I can't really hear you that well, though. What? You can't hear me that well? Well, that's better. Okay. Well, then that means that nobody can hear us that well. Let no, it's fine. This. It's just not super loud. Can you not do it while I'm playing Tetris? <laughs> did kind of help your opponent a little bit. Yeah, it really, truly did. Truly, madly, deeply. It truly, madly, deeply did. Damn. Damn. It's okay, I'm nice. Dude, is this, are you in slow mode then? No. Interesting. I don't know what this does. 
I don't know how to jump either. I'd, I'm very, very curious mm -hmm. about what each effect does. It's frozen now. Nice. Not on my strings. It's all long pieces, exactly. That was a really lucky streak, Lord Loki. That was, uh, was that four? Might have been four. And then one Can of them I was Can I attack or what? Yeah, uh, press up. I can't. Yeah, you did. Can I? Okay, yeah. thank God. You have to wait till the, the piece is on the screen. Ah. And then you can do it. Okay. Oh, sh See, I always forget to keep playing when I attack, because I always thought this was going to be a second. Well, you don't know what oh. it's going to be. No, that's true. Yes, yes, perfect. <laughs> Almost yes. didn't get that one. Yes. I'll have to do. That's perfect. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that was my best Winona impersonator. Ozzy Winona impersonator. That is such a specific reference. Hmm? Yeah, an Austra <laughs> Australian Winona impersonator. It's, it's not that. Difficult to understand. I mean, you get the picture. It's very specific, Ooh. uh. Architect. Yeah. Ooh. Oh, this is. Ooh. Toit. She toit. Uh oh. That might have been a poor decision. What happened there? I don't know. Come on. Get where you need to get going. Don't make another point, sir. Oh, man. When it's not the one you want. Oh. That's it. No, no. He attacked. Oh, well, I'm already right at the top, so... It's just gonna speed you up. Steals all the bombs. I get it. That Cool, so that, that move like sends like burglars to steal all the bombs yeah. so you can't clear yeah. your screen. Gotcha. Done. It's okay. It's still fine. Still good music. Mm-hmm. Is that the end? Time. Do you want to try one more? Do you want to do one more round? Sure. You want to pick a different character? Sure. Um, I guess it doesn't really matter. Do you mind opening the window a little okay. bit more? It's a little warmer. There's just sweaty eyelids going on. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so if you want to do a different level. There's Ninja, we haven't seen the art for. Or Princess. We've played Halloween, Miru Run, Miru Run uh, Bit, Shaman, Aladdin, and Wolfman. So yeah, do I do Princess or Ninja? Sure. Go for it. We'll be, we'll, we're, we're the same character, we're just... We're just uh, I don't think the character matters. How come um, there's a Ninja but, but no Yobandi? There's different yeah, It's in Yanbu. Yobandi oh. lives in Yanbu. That's the closest name. That they have? I don't know. I don't know. What? Oh, oh yeah. Later! Later. What? <laughs> Later. Later. This game also has a little bit of a Tetris attack vibe in terms of the two player mode. Mm -hmm. I really like it. Yeah, what are they doing? Wow, they're gonna clear that hole. Nice. 
And they took my piece. Yes. Yeah, this game, took like, the next one too. we don't have two controllers. Quick. We don't have two controllers, but this game, if we were both playing 1v1, would be, like, it, so fun. It would be ultra fun, yeah, definitely. I, Let's I, get another I, controller I, just for that reason. I highly recommend, yeah, totally. I highly recommend checking this out, too, if you haven't tried it out before. Tetris Battle Gaiden. It's a really fun one. If you're just joining the stream, earlier this stream, we, we played Indiana Jones Greatest Adventures, which is basically like the Super Star Wars That's games. It was made by LucasArts. Oh, he's doing it again! Same thing. Cool. That is a dope effect. That's the princess. Um, yeah, we played Indiana Jones Greatest Adventures, then we played Blobber. A really interesting, like, um, unique take on, like, a... A physics engine for a platformer, a homebrew platformer made by one of our our, our streaming uh, mm -hmm. followers, and also I think I think they stream their their uh, their work, but they they were the creator of uh, Hyperbeats, which is another game that Michelle and I play a lot of. Yes. And then we did some uh, oh, home improvement. Anything. No, you attacked. Yeah, I know. Uh, we also did some home improvement power tool pursuit on the Super Nintendo today. Believe it or not. Hope everyone's having an awesome Sunday. I see a few more people are joining the stream. Hope you've been having a good uh, good day so far. This is my partner Michelle. Hi. I'm Matt, or Three Up Moon, and we often do co-op streams every once in a while. But, often, uh, every once in a while. <laughs> yeah, you know, certainly maybe. When we feel like it. Um, and this one seemed like the right one. And this ah! this game was also. Oh my goodness! Whoa. You got it's it. gonna be fine. This game was also redeemed by Michelle as well. Too. Yes, it was. Cause I love me so much. It's okay. We got this. Triple. 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 Got that triple. Oh, jeez. No, I'm scared. I need another grips. I don't need that. Oh, oh no. <laughs> uh -oh. Today is not the our downfall. day. The downfall. When you can see the game just going straight to down the pooper. Right down the pooper. <laughs> They're gonna get this another cool. happy face. This is such a cool, uh, cool take on Tetris. Yeah. Do you want to play the last one? Uh, sure. Is this the last one in here? Sure. Here. I'll go for it. I'll just continue on from where you're at. Yeah, it just started. Let's do it. Yeah, it really throws you off when you're you think you're ready for a certain piece, right? And then yeah. it gets and dealt to your it. to your opponent. Like it's a, it's a really interesting way to take uh, Tetris in a different direction. I'll turn this Tetris right around. <laughs> One more word, and I'll turn this Tetris right around. <laughs> Yo, stay out of my zone, yeah. princess. Well, excuse me, princess. I'm singing along to music I can't hear. You're doing a good job. Doesn't match the music that does, you're listening actually. to. You can listen back to it. Okay. Oh, everyone is going to hear that, unfortunately. <laughs> trying to build up lines to get more moves, but I don't want to take too long because then I'm going to get attacked. Yeah, that's kind of how I was feeling as well. It's interesting. Yeah. You have to, you have to just strategize a little differently and do that. And then sometimes, oh, sometimes you attack. But what did that do? Electric. Electrified and down. Hmm. Sometimes I attack and electrify myself. Sometimes I attack and electrify them. <laughs> Three up moon, 2021. Electrifying myself. No, that's a t-shirt. Folks. Yep. 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 <gasps> they got me. Oh, 
Oh, I can't turn. That's what's going on. There's no flippy dippies. No flippy dippies. That's one of the ones. whatever you need to. <laughs> I don't care. Double hydrate. Fine, I can attack. Look, I got a, I got a four-piece attack here. Let's go. Perfectly cooked. It's fine. It's, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's totally fine. They lost. I mean, I lost. <laughs> Those are very different outcomes. I lost. They, they lost. Oh, 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 I mean, I lost. Nah, don't worry about it. It's all good. It's just a game. Um, thanks everyone for tuning in. Uh, stick around, you're gonna earn some extra moonstones because if you are part of a raid and you maybe go follow uh, the person that we raid, help them hit their follow goals. And uh, we are at <laughs> 3 fucking 99 right now, so if you're not following, click that follow button, make it 400. Make it 400! And that stream with the hype. Um, you don't have to though. But if you do. Only if you want to. If you do follow, um, I stream every single day from 1 p.m. Pacific. You can always catch me here. It lets you know when I go live, what I'm streaming next. Oftentimes, every once in a while, you can catch me streaming with my partner Michelle, but Michelle's in the chat for pretty much every stream. I'm usually around, off, uh, also, just off camera. <laughs> also one of our mods, and um, we are going to continue this next Sunday. So thanks again to Stegosaurus McCartney and to Michelle and to um, uh, a Cardboard Box for the Redeems for today. Uh, I really appreciate it. Um, I will stream tomorrow, like I said, from 1 p.m. Pacific onward, and next Sunday we're going to be playing Inspector Gadget on the Super Nintendo, redeemed by Stegosaurus McCartney. We're going to play Zelda Minish Cap, redeemed by Grimbomb, and we're going to play Dragon Warrior 3, if we have time, uh, redeemed by Grimbomb as well, on the Game Boy Color, the, specifically the Game Boy Color version, because that game was released in multiple fashions. Recently actually announced as a 2.5D remake uh, using the Octopath Traveler engine. If you know anything about Octopath Traveler, it's a really interesting uh, aesthetically um, like art Japanese RPG that throws back to like the Super Nintendo era of RPGs. It's really interesting. It's got a really cool look. It has like a paper cutout sort of look as well where the sprites are sort of um, walking like upright in like a 3D world with shadows and there's just like a lot of really cool visual play there and they're using the same engine to remake Dragon Warrior 3 which has been remade so many times already um, but I, I haven't really played it I played the first Dragon Warrior I really got hooked into Dragon Warrior uh, 8 and 5 um, 8 when I had a PlayStation 2 it had a really beautiful symphonic soundtrack and um, it pulled me in right away and then Dragon Warrior 5 I played on the DS actually that version was really cool um, but I think who we're gonna raid is we're gonna raid our good buddy surfins because I'm looking over to see who is online right now and uh, yeah we've got a few people and and surfins is playing some uh, super gabagools and ghost 
He's been playing Super Ghouls and Ghosts uh, to end off the night um, pretty recently, pretty often as well, and it's um, it's it's uh, a game that's actually really tough. I've seen a lot of people, including one of our mods, Iterama, go through it and try to hit like multiple loops. Like I think there's th three loops of it, um, and it's a really difficult uh, difficult game. Really there's lots of different game. versions of it, um, and uh, this version, I think he's playing the Super Nintendo version. And if you're into Ghouls and Ghosts, I think you probably know that there's a version pretty much in every system. There's like on Ma Sega Master System, on a whole bunch. Um, so stick around, go give Surfins a follow, and if you're not following me, click that follow button. I'll see you in the next stream. Uh, and also, if you're on YouTube, click that subscribe button. Yeah, that was super fun. We're definitely going to be playing more of this Tetris game off stream for sure. Yeah, we'll be playing more for sure. Yeah. And it's, maybe it's cool. more Tetris mix-ups if we find it we'll get some uh we'll get some um some on the, on the alternate controller or something or an extra controller and then we can we can both play as well like do two-player tetris yeah. like we'll maybe do like a two-player tetris gauntlet or something that could be kind of fun play a whole bunch of different tetris games we'll just see blocks after we're done but i'll see everyone in the next stream thanks again and uh have a great night bye